Good morning, good afternoon, and good night to all you Hearthstone enthusiasts. Let me be the first to welcome you to April Absurdity, formerly known as March Madness. I have with me today Icicles, of course. Welcome. Hello. hello. And Donde, which no one's really excited to know Donde's here, but he's I'm here, here all the time, man. It's not a <laughs> it's not really an exciting experience. It's not a special occasion. No, no not at all. See Donde 24-7. I think most of us are sick of seeing him at this point. I mean, I, I am. <laughs> uh, well. Yeah, this is exciting, right? This is the first actual March Madness stream. Slash April Absurdity. Soon April to be Absurdity May slash Monstrosity. May Mad- Monstrosity. <laughs> whatever, whatever you guys want to call it. We're just going to keep rolling with new names. Well, I got it. <laughs> but this is awesome so uh so yeah this is cool like this is um kind of going to be a hybrid show you know we've got our uh, our recap over what's gone on so far in the tournament kind of what we want to see happen over the next few matches in round one uh we'll talk about that and of course we have three matches tonight which all kind of just sort of happened three yes not one not two but three three and that all just kind of happened matches. uh happened you know, in the last, uh, you know, four or five hours kind of all came together. So appreciate people jumping on board and looking uh, to, to get on stream. So, guys, what do you say we talk about what's happened so far? Um, all of our dreams are crushed, or, Brushy, in your case, uh, you, you didn't get to start in the tournament. But uh, not, not trying to rub salt or anything, I swear to God. But, um, but uh, I would, I'd win it anyway, so I was getting oh, okay. a chance. It's really, you know? it's, it's really very sporting of you. Thank you. I do appreciate. I feel like Donde, uh, our our results are entirely based on our desire just to produce more content. It's exactly what playing. it is because now I don't have to worry about you know not that I was going to be making a new lineup every every round, but now I don't have to worry about playing. I don't have to worry about bands. I just have to worry about streams, and uh, I'm certainly not Absolutely. upset about how how last night happened at all. So that's. <laughs> well, I'm sure we'll get to that soon enough. Oh, absolutely! <laughs> you best believe. I am pumped. <laughs> Let's talk about you losing. <laughs> I should also point out. How many out, letters did you write to get Edwin Hall of Fame in the last uh, four hours? <laughs> well, there were definitely tweets. That's for sure. Um, <laughs> I responded to tweets. I created my own tweets. Uh, I was just let down all over the place. Like, like the last last twenty four hours have been rough for me because like the Patriots decided not to draft anybody and trade down, and then um, you guys can't see it yet because uh, there's a delay on the stream. But I'm wearing my Patriots uh, one of the Patriots jerseys tonight to rep. Uh, that hopefully they draft somebody at some point this evening. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Should have told me I could have worn oh, my golf gag, gag, gag oh, reflex. No. I'm sorry. Oh, Brand no. new to a ton of Aloha jersey. Let's go. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sure. That's uh, why you just support <laughs> bad teams like the Baltimore Orioles. You don't have to worry about anything. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, between that and, uh, and and last night's match, it hasn't been going great for me. Uh, you know. But that's uh, that's all right. It's been going well for a lot of other people. So. Uh, True. As I mentioned, this stream is on delay, even though this part is not a match. Uh, we won't, uh, you know, cut the stream and then switch to a delay. So we're just going to roll with a 10-minute delay. So there'll be minimal chat interaction from the three of us during this part uh, as a, an unfortunate side effect of the delay. But we're not ignoring you. Just want to let you know. Uh, I'm he, ignoring you. He, you know, Brush will ignore you, which I can't control, <laughs> we'll but he does. Past. It'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you say we pull up on, uh, on screen here our first match that happened? Well, not chronologically. We're just going to go down the bracket. So if you're on BattleFi and you're looking at it with us, you can see what we're seeing, which is Heat Shock versus Rage Doppel uh, mm-hmm. was the top match there. Heat Shock a 5 seed, Rage Doppel a 12 seed. Now, anybody who follows the NCAA tournament knows that 12 5 upsets do happen at least once, All usually the happen. Time. At least one happens every tournament. It did not happen this time. Heat Shock was the 3 to 1 win over Rage Doppel. So, uh, Brushy, I'll let you take, uh, take us through here the classes and just kind of give us your overall thoughts on this match. Well, I think Rage Doppel messed up by not banning Demon Hunter from Heat Shock. Uh, class is just insane right now. So I don't know. I don't know what the what the give is of not banning that one off the bat. Yeah, it's an interesting but, choice. I think I'm curious to see how it played out because it felt like, at least in my prep, that uh, everyone was going to bring Demon Hunter. So you guys chose right away to ban it, or you chose to bring a lineup that you felt could beat it. And looking at Rage Doppel's glasses with the Warlock and the Priest. Felt like he might have thought that he could get away with not banning it, but turns out he was wrong. So, class is just too mm-hmm. powerful and just steamrolls even over the bad matchups. 
Yeah, it's, it's one of those that can just it can just win no matter what. You could play you can plan against it as much as you want. And there's a match we'll talk about a little bit later that was on stream uh, a couple days ago where that that was the exact plan was I'm going to beat Demon Hunter and it still got through anyway. Uh, so it is a very very risky strategy. Um, and I'm looking at the lists here. I got them up on on the screen here. They're both the tempo lists. Neither of them are like the <laughs> OTK version. So I guess that would have been the other thing. The other consideration is, oh, did Rage leave it up because it was the OTK version? He felt like maybe that was one that he could handle. Uh, I don't. I mean, a, a deck that can do like 28 damage on turn 6 or 7 if all goes well is not really anything anyone can handle. But, uh, but no, that's not the case here. It was the Tempo Demon Hunter. Yeah, I think yep. when they put up the list of all the decks and broke down the, the, art, the archetypes, um, only one person brought the OTK. And yeah, kind of surprising. Brought it, tempo. So the deck's hard to play, the, play correctly. So mm-hmm. especially with it, the, it makes sense if you don't have a yeah with all the recent nerfs and stuff like that. So it makes sense that if you didn't have the just the knowledge and all the games pushed in that amount of time not to bring it. Yeah, I can definitely understand um, the hesitation there. Like you said, anytime you got combo decks, it's uh, they're they're definitely harder to learn than tempo decks. I would imagine for most people. Yeah. But you can see uh, now uh, what he did opt to ban was the hunter. It was a Highlander hunter. Uh, all things to say about that as well. But uh, Highlander Hunter here was not played. Didn't matter for Heat Shock. He got his three wins in four games. So uh, I, I think uh, I'm not looking at the numbers right now, but I would imagine I think Heat Shock was universally picked over Rage Doppel in the brackets. Is that correct? Ice Cold? Yeah, it looks that way. Yep, 100%. All right, yeah. So not a, uh, not a surprising outcome. You know, the community thought that, that was what was going to happen, and that is exactly what happened. So moving on to match number two, which was C-Mac versus Trippy Toad. Uh, this is a, I want to say, 13 versus 4. Um, C-Mac at 4. No, 6-11. C-Mac 6-11. 6-11, yeah. And it, was, it was on the other side of the 12-5. T- the I wasn't sure which direction. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so looking at this, this was a lineup, uh, a choice that both of them banned the Demon Hunter. So uh, which I think we'll see them. a lot. Yeah, neither one of them wanted to mess around. And C Mac bringing Shaman, he brought the control Shaman with Luciana. I remember uh, Hockey telling me about that, that uh, he didn't have the guts to bring it, but C Mac <laughs> did and at least got a win. So, pretty interesting. I wonder yeah. if that's where some of C Mac's losses came from. Yeah, I wish you could see um, on Battle 5 yeah. the history of the matches. I know, like, if you're playing, you can see your own history. But you cannot see uh, other people's history, which is, uh, I guess I could go into the admin side of things. I don't know if that lets you see it either. But, um, but yeah, it, C-Mac, he is, he, he is a known control player, so I guess I'm not surprised he had the guts to bring Control Shaman. Uh, looking at uh, at his warrior, it's one of the bomb warriors, which is more controlly than like the egg warrior, but it's not like a full-on control warrior. Uh, but yeah, then he also brings Priest, which is control so yep. yeah c-mac yep. targeting those those uh, faster decks and still banned demon hunter right i think that's probably what you're gonna see from the control maps because again demon hunter can just win you know yep. it's the kind of deck that breaks control in half sometimes so if you're playing that you just want to get it out of the way and go for the slower decks i mean egg yeah. warrior is not super slow but at the same time it relies on specific combos that usually control has time to deal with um, same is true for the spell druid. That's going to take a while before it gets to that point, and you can have all your answers ready to go. Yep. So C Mac uh, was was not universally picked, such as uh, Heat Shock was, but he was picked very heavily. I think it was in the seventy percent range. Um, I was yep. a Trippy Toad believer. In fact, I had Trippy Toad going to the Sweet Sixteen. So uh, <laughs> that's uh, one way my bracket has been busted so far. But that's not the only way. Broken bracket. <laughs> I wish I had like a soundboard for you uh, for that, but. <laughs> And, we'll, uh, we'll get we'll get together after this. You were okay. the only one, Dante. So, uh, <laughs> out of the twenty nine percent of people that picked Trippy Toad to win in the first round, twenty one percent picked him to go to the Sweet Sixteen. So it seems like most people who had him winning one had him winning two. So, yeah, um, he's a he's a hero teammate of mine as well. So I know he's a very very good player, and uh, definitely believe that you know yeah three two losses is, is is fine. It's not like he got blown out or anything. So, uh, you know, right. Hopefully he's saving up all the all the good draws for uh, for this hero season. That's fine. Yeah. Now now he's the time to prep and get ready for the actual regular season. Absolutely. Oh, nine eyebrows and Agent PW is up next. I clicked the wrong one, so hold on a sec while I go back. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I clicked oh, the second round bad. match, which doesn't show of us course. any. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. 
another three two. This was a this was the seven this was the seven ten matchup with nine yep. eyebrows, the ten seed, the agent PW, the seven. So this is technically an upset um, mm -hmm. by seeding standards with the three two win. So we've seen a lot of close matches. No no real blowouts to this point. And uh, interestingly enough, there's no bans listed here. I think they did the bans separate because we had a little bit of a problem with the Battlefy uh, website, you know, basically being trash and not allowing bans right away. Uh, so I don't know exactly yeah. what was banned here, but we're going to, for all intents and purposes, pretend it was the Demon Hunter because that makes the most I'm, sense. I'm assuming Demon Hunter, uh, Hunter, probably from Nine Eyes, was banned. And Demon Hunter, it, no, actually, you know what it was? The Malagos Druid was banned. Malagos Druid, yeah, he, I remember he that. Mentioned it. He mentioned it in chat, and because this is the, this is the Demon Hunter, this is the OTK Demon Hunter. So, oh, yeah. wait, Agent PWE brought Malagos, Malagos Quest Druid. Yep, yep. He brought he and, and he brought uh, he so brought Evolve Shaman, and then he brought Highlander Rogue, uh, which is some spicy. It's a spicy lineup there. This whole lineup is spicy, and I absolutely love it. Well, you know, I mean, I, I love the lineup, just not the results. Listen, <laughs> Ultimately. We were just yeah. talking about lineups. We already passed oh, sure, results, sure, sure, sure. all right? You know? <laughs> yeah, Nine Eyebrows running the, uh, you know, the, the Rez slash Galakrond kind of hybridish priest. He's got mirrors on, just, just hard running that in the deck. That card is so good against certain decks, though. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Call this one, compared to other priests, this is not a Galakron list. It runs Galakron, but that's it. No invokes. It's just yeah. kind of yeah. a traditional res. One, one stop yeah. shop Galakron, mm -hmm. kill a big, yep. big, big guy, that's it. Yep. Uh, yeah, that's the type of deck, like, you want to play that after, you know, like, for example, the Highlander Rogue plays their Galakron, draws a bunch of crap for free. Uh, now you draw a bunch of stuff for free. <laughs> so yeah. that's a that's a pretty good uh, you know pretty good idea behind it. And it, it obviously got there, as I don't imagine it was banned. But uh, but yeah, nine hours rest of his lineup. Interesting too. He's going with the uh, Murloc Paladin, and yeah. he's got the Bomb Warrior as well. And uh, he's got st uh, the the Dragon Hunter. So it's kind of the uh, it's the same ish Dragon Hunter to last meta with a slight uh, slight changes with a few cards from the new expansion, but. Uh, but I tell you what, I was playing that Murloc Paladin earlier today, and that thing is potent. Oh yeah, Lots. yeah. Um, yeah, I think it, it it's, it's going to show up probably more often than than we've seen in this in the tournament. There was a pretty low number of it, but I imagine it's going to be starting to become more popular. Yeah, without a doubt, it's a it's a good deck. So we'll have to see who Nine Eyebrows plays in the next round. He doesn't have an opponent yet, and uh, I think that does it for the top part of the bracket. Yeah, so we're yep. moving on to uh, the. That's the, Ragnaros. That was Ragnaros. We're moving on to Leroy now. And Leroy, Leroy. the first two matches we're going to talk about here are two players that won that are going to be in our first match tonight. Super Murloc with the upset of the tournament over Little Hearthy. Yeah, I think we called out when the brackets were released that Leroy was going to be the bracket busting area, and we were not wrong. Uh, there have been several uh, significant upsets over here. Uh, but none more notable in Super Murloc as the 16 seed knocking off the one. So Little Hearthy gets to be THL's Virginia. Maybe he'll win it next year. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no doubt he's a fantastic player. We saw it all season. He earned the one seed, no doubt about that. But, uh, you know, there's only been that one 16 one upset in uh, the real tournament. And this is, you know, one out of four now here in. Uh, actually, not all the one seeds have played yet, but one out of the, uh, I think, two that have played so far. Because I know Liquid Ox has played and he won. Which uh, spoiler alert for those of us who've not seen it in the bracket yet? But sorry. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Nothing. What are you talking about? Shh. What? Shh. Okay, right, let's we'll move keep, on. <laughs> we'll, let's move on. There's not much else to say about this, but Super Murloc killed it. Uh, yeah. Three, three, one win. Very impressive, and I'm excited to see if he can keep the Cinderella run going tonight. So I did bring to Totem Shaman. I, I, that deck is crazy. <laughs> Can never so, tell if that deck's good or not. It uh, it comes and goes. But no, I just want to shout out, so our current scoreboard leader, Dabs, for the Bracket Challenge, was the Dabs. only person that picked Super Murloc to win. So that goes to show that man knew what he was doing. Some not not Dibs or Dabs, right? Brackets. Not Dibs, not Dabs. It was Dabs. Dabs. <laughs> <laughs> he, I, I, there was somebody who lost that ruined his perfect bracket yesterday. We'll, we'll, we'll again, we'll talk about him in a little bit. But uh, Inzi is the second half of this match. <laughs> <Dante. laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. What what you're talking about. 
<laughs> so we got Inzi versus F. Sorachi. This was our first sweep here uh, as we go down the bracket. So Inzi, uh, this is an 8-9 matchup, so you, generally you'd expect a close close match here, but it was just all Inzi all the time. Don't know what was banned, uh, as this one was also played uh, outside of the uh, the ban process in Battlefy, but uh, no Demon Hunter on either side, so no need to ban it, so I have no idea. I think F. Sorachi banned Mage. And talking to him, I think we expected a warrior ban, but I'm not sure about that. So maybe Druid ban. I forget. But I know what so actually you think ban mage, because we talked about it a little, a little bit. I don't think I gave him good advice <laughs> in the end, but <laughs> that's what we talked Honestly, about at least. I, it, just looking at Inzi's lineup, it probably was a warrior ban. Yeah, that would make sense. Well, NZ now goes into the second round as the higher, uh, the uh, lower seed, I should say. It wouldn't, you know, he would obviously have expected to have to play a little Hearthy. So, uh, mm -hmm. you know, you know, no, no slight to Super Murloc. I'm sure NZ was excited to see that result after he posted his, and uh, we'll see if uh, he can, can uh, end the Cinderella run before it gets out of the opening weekend, so to speak. So let's go on further down the Leroy Jenkins bracket. We had another. Uh, Nope, not the next one's not the upset. It keeps reverting back to the uh, right side of my screen every time I go back, which is frustrating. Yeah, so we're coming up on another 512. You had mentioned how March Madness works. There's always 512 upset, but so far, oh, the THL tournament has not played out that way. We've seen three has not. of the four. Oh, we still got two. We got two sides of this bracket to still go to. Yeah. yeah. It's always a 12 Well, this, this was one that a lot of people had picked Sage over Bill Snyder uh, in the 12. So this was a uh, like I, everyone was kind of on that train as far as uh, you know Sage had upset Ron Mexico twice. Sorry, Ron. I know this gets brought up like every stream. Uh, yeah, which take is, that, Ron. <laughs> take, take it, Ron. <laughs> and uh, but but no, in this case, Bill Bill uh, got the win three to one, as uh, you know the higher seeds expected to do. Yeah, thirty percent of people pick Sage, so he wasn't the most common five seed to or twelve seed to win the upset. Um, but there definitely were a number of people that uh, looked at that and thought Sage had a good chance to win. And the uh, the next match is your Mumkhead versus Skittles. So this is mm -hmm. one that I think um, a lot of people picked each way here. There was there was Wait. definitely um, oh yeah you know not only people picking both ways, people picking these players to go very far in the tournament. So you've got like you know someone picking mm -hmm. a Mumkhead and they would think oh he's a you know sweet sixteen material. Skittles had himself winning. Uh, I think, or or maybe coming in runner up or something like that. But you know, other people have him going pretty deep in the tournament as well. So there was yeah. like anything could happen in this match, and it was a close. One Skittles won three to two. Just gotta say, Skittles is the first person to not ban Demon Hunter and win. Yeah, he played it right. Congrats, so congrats to Skittles. He, you know, bold, bold moves. Nice little round of applause for Skittles. Makes me feel worse because he basically had the same idea as me with the warrior priest and rogue. So, what are you gonna do? <laughs> well, one of these players are good, and the other one is icicles. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like Skittle's bracket because uh, he had more faith in me than I had in myself, and had picked oh, okay. me to advance to the point where he could actually face me and beat me because he wanted revenge after uh, we played a couple times in the Euro League. Um, that uh, I may have may have done well there. So. He was looking forward to it. He messaged me after I lost and was not happy that he couldn't <laughs> be the one to knock me out. So, what are you going to do? Well, the uh, the second round game here has already been played as well. Skittles versus Bill Snyder. And Skittles mm -hmm. won that one as well, 3-2. Neither player banned Demon Hunter in this one. They uh, We have a rogue ban on Bill Snyder's end, and Skittles had his warrior ban. So, uh, you can say, oh Crazy. man, the guy who didn't ban Demon Hunter won. But yeah, the other guy didn't ban Demon Hunter either. So, they kind of were working off the same... <laughs> same advantage or disadvantage, Crazy. I suppose. Yeah, nuts. Um, so Skittles is our first player to make it to the third round, and uh, he's going to have to uh, wait patiently for a little bit now for the uh, rest of the bracket to catch up with. I mean, he finds out tonight who he faces. Oh, that's right. He does. Yes, that finds is. out in like ten plus minutes here. He is. Uh, I forgot how. I forgot how brackets work. <laughs> yeah, he's he's going to face either Super Murloc or Inzi. Yeah, so that one's going to go pretty far. So yeah, just a note, 17% um, of people, I think that's four, four out of the 24 people picked Skittles to make it this far. And uh, three out of those four have him moving on to the next round as well. So uh, a lot of faith in Skittles. Absolutely. 
And Skittles uh, can easily take it all the way. Oh no, he's a fantastic player. He's he's certainly capable, no matter what seed he's in. And uh, I think as we get deeper into the tournament here, eight, like the round of eight and the round of sixteen, we're going to see only like the most insane matchups you can imagine uh, towards the the finals here. So this should be exciting as we continue to you know keep moving through the tournament. Uh, so this next match, uh, I know Icicles, you've probably been dreading it a little bit, but we're going to talk <laughs> about it. Uh, you fell three to one to Base Tank. This is another one I think uh, people were pretty split on. I think Base had more yeah. brackets picking so, them than, than actually. Than when uh, I put the brackets together and or so I had it built to where once you put in the the names I could see like percentage wise who picked who. So there are only two underdogs that were picked to win by seed and one of them was Base Dink. And people were smart. So fifty eight percent of the people picked they seem to win that game. Actually including myself. Uh, I don't <laughs> usually pick myself to win things because I just I don't know. It's just bad luck. Yeah, yeah. Bad luck. The other uh, the other one was Triss over Yellow Dart. Was that is actually the the match that uh, Basing is waiting on for her next opponent. So um, that was the only spot in the bracket where people picked the underdog to win. Um, but yeah, so this match, um, I also made the choice to not ban Demon Hunter or uh, bring Demon Hunter. So clearly that was clearly a that's the problem. Choice. Didn't work out, but um, honestly, it should have. Um, I won the first game with Rogue, and my other two decks that weren't banned were the Priest and the Mage. And I should have had a really good matchup against the Warrior, and that's what it came down to. But base just blew me out with the Warrior against the Priest. So hats off to her. That's a, a tough matchup to win, and she did extremely well. Basically punished every single one of my misplays. So um, she deserved to win, and uh, I hope that she ends up going far. Yeah, 14, uh, 14 seed as well, for the record, 14 to 3. Not not trying to rub any more salt listen, in the wound. here's hey. the thing. I called this immediately when the bracket was revealed that, uh, what the heck? Why was based a 14 seed? I mean, no sense. It was rigged. Rigged, I said. <laughs> I mean, there's <laughs> also another 13 seed upsetting a 4 seed later, too, so... <laughs> Shh, don't, no, you know. Man, baby, no, don't. <laughs> so the, next, <laughs> the next match was Zoroshio being Medusa's uh, 7 over the 10. This was a sweep. Uh, so not uh, as exciting here, and also Zoroshi did not ban Demon Hunter, and it clearly didn't no even get a win. So impressive, uh, impressive move for Zoroshi. He had a great season last season, and he's just continuing it here. Absolute absurdity. April yeah, people are definitely high on Zoroshi winning here, eighty-eight percent, which I think is really high for a, a seven-ten matchup generally. So um, a lot of faith in him. The only thing is, out of all of that. Uh, no one picked him to win in the second round. So, interesting. Ooh. Well, he's potentially going against our hat, which I think everyone picked uh, 100% to win over Yeah, our hat to lose. Yeah. <laughs> to lose. yeah, I mean, if he does that, that, that will in interminably bust my bracket, considering he's Brackets my, my win busted. pick. Listen, I still have a chance if he wins, okay? <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a good point. So, I know we're not talking about our hat yet, but he was the only person that every single bracket picked to win two games. There's no one else that was picked to win the first two games by everyone. So uh, a lot a lot of pressure on our hat to deliver for a lot of people. I think one person was ruined by me, though, because I didn't pick Itachi to make it out of the first round. I think like everyone else had him going deep. Uh, <laughs> I, I have the Markshire revenge on that one that I believe I nice. believe in him. And that's I'm the only one. But uh, yep. so, so we moved to Sylvanas region now, which is uh, the top right for those of you following along on your bracket. Uh, Liquid Ox over Bit Beaker. This is a 116, and it was a sweep. So this was kind of your classic uh, underdog story gone awry, unfortunately for Bit Beaker. But uh, this is, you know, uh, Liquid Ox is a phenomenal player. He breaks chairs. If you, I don't know if you watched the clip <laughs> that uh, <laughs> was posted in Discord earlier, but yep. he, he broke a chair, and uh, not in this match, but you know, he's a good player. I mean, Liquid Ox has just been on a tear recently, so. No surprise here for him just to come in and just win this round. I did sweep yeah. him, uh, by the way. Just you know. yeah, sure you did. Yeah. I mean, I lost to him and then I swept him. So you know, <laughs> granted, yeah, he nice. was he was coming off like an eighteen-hour stream trying to get legend on the first day uh, in in March or February, one of the two. So I might have taken advantage a little bit. So just a quick note here: uh, Ox, another player that did not ban Demon Hunter or bring Demon Hunter, and he made it work. So hats off to him. Yeah, I think we're seeing there are definitely ways to do it. Uh, whether it's a sustainable uh, thing, then I, I guess we'll have to find out. Oh, this is uh, 
Highlander Demon Hunter. Yeah, so that's a little bit less potent than either the OTK or the uh, Tempo version. Mm -hmm. So our next match was one that was on stream. Uh, Berserk versus Hockey Boys, 8-9. The fact that these two players are 8-9 and nine seeds is ridiculous, but uh, this was a close, close match. This one came down to... It was like almost a two-hour stream in the middle of the day. <laughs> I was trying to work at the same time as operate this thing, and uh, I was like, man, I really just want to stop working and just watch it. And it came down to a uh, Priestess of Fury roll on the last turn. Wow. If it hit face enough, then Berserk won. And there, there was... Uh, if, if you went to the uh, the Discord afterwards, there was a lot of math being slung around trying to figure out exactly <laughs> what needed to happen in order for uh, you know Berserk to win, which uh, he did. He won 3-2 to two over Hockey, so that VOD is on the channel. It's on YouTube as well, so feel free to go back and take a look at what happened in that final turn, but uh, it's a great series to watch overall. This one definitely lived up to the hype. Yeah, that channel was renamed March Madness for an hour there. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> All the deliberation going back and forth of probabilities and outcomes. It's uh, If you like that stuff at all, it's fascinating to see the analysis that was done. Uh, really cool aspect of Hearthstone. For those of you who don't understand math, ask a friend. <laughs> <laughs> or you know or get someone to speak down to you and condescendingly explain it to you isn't that pretty much the same as asking a friend yeah it depends on what your friends are like but <laughs> if to my friends it's absolutely that 100 percent of the time that's math for you right there yep so sanguine versus lesmos was the next uh, next match and sanguine i believe was picked uh probably pretty evenly with lesmos maybe a little bit more so uh in, in the brackets i'll let i'll let uh let you tell us that high school is but uh, three two win for Sanguine. Yeah, the was the most was thirty eight percent picked. So I think that was the highest uh, five twelve choice um, in terms of people picking upset. But Sanguine uh, proved them wrong. So that's out there. Yep, big match, big win. Don't know the band specifically, but uh, another Murloc Paladin with Octasari and it's spicy. Hey, so uh, do 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 breaking news. We've got another bracket result. Oh, on the bracket. Breaking we news. Seen before. Uh, this was the six eleven match in the Leroy Jenkins bracket, and unfortunately for Leroy fans everywhere, Yellow Dart lost to to Triss three zero. Oh. So the man, man who got his own bracket. I know we named it for him and everything. Couldn't even get a win, Dart man. Wow. You're banned. Unfortunate. You're banned from my Minecraft server. So this, um, you know, uh, people were kind of onto this. I think Triss's at 11 C was kind of crazy, uh, but he was picked 71 percent to win. So he was by far the most popular upset pick. So uh, wow. people kind of had a feeling that that match was going to go that direction. Well, shout out to Triss for making around too. Sorry, Yellow. I guess when Ron, um, no, why did I say Ron next up? When Leroy is not in the in uh, in standard, he does not win. So, th does this mean bad things for him coming up in the uh, Legacy and Hero seasons? Who knows? But uh, we'll have to see what he does uh, deck wise without Leroy. But this next one is the one that I don't want to talk about. Uh, so I'll let you guys yes. talk about it. Yes. Um, yes. So it's uh, so obviously the better player won here, even though the better <laughs> sure. player was a lower. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Boozasaurus takes it over Donde. I'm biting Three my lips lip so hard right now. Too, um, unpopular upset pick. You know, a third of the people picked Booz to win. So, uh, well, so Donde, you had a two target Two-thirds of back. these people were wrong. I ruined <laughs> so, ruined Dabs' bracket by losing as well. Right. So, oh yeah, saved myself say? nine bracket. Dabs, Dabs. Not I knew we were gonna do it. <laughs> not only was Dabs mad at you, but so was Dabs and Dibs. You just had the whole wow. crew. Dobbs, Dubs, all of them. Dibs with a Y. All the D random nice letter BS fun. people. So, um, for those who didn't catch what happened last night, uh, this is what happened last night. You, <laughs> you guys, uh, you guys being Don't icicles, it. icicles. I'm not sugarcoating. I'm literally playing the clip on stream right now. Oh, uh, okay. So this is this is turn two. This is turn two. Uh, you can see Boozasaurus hit me in the face for one damage, and uh, then the Pharaoh Cat gets shadow stepped. He plays a Pharaoh Cat. He plays a coin and a shadow step, and then I lose to a two two. I lose to a three mana two two. Uh, I feel like the stats were not two two at the end of 
Uh, all about that. <laughs> never, never tell me the odds on uh, how hard it is to get an Edwin to 12-12 on turn two. Apparently not very hard. You just gotta watch the clip that you just played. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 33% chance. Oh, see, 33% chance. Uh, so yeah, so that was a. Uh, <laughs> that was what happened in game five. I straight up lost to getting hit in the face for 12 three straight turns uh, because it turns out that Highlander Hunter just doesn't have an answer to that. So that's what happened to me. Nope. But it's Luis. okay. You should have drawn Zephyrus. <laughs> I, should, I should have drawn Zephyrus. Yeah, you're so bad at this game. So uh, we have a couple more matches to talk about here. We have, what, one, yeah. two, three, four, five more. Um, but we are also creeping up on the stream of the match that we are, are set up to cast here at Inzy and Super Murloc. Um, do we want to maybe reserve these remaining games for, for some in-between? We can discuss these. Yeah, uh, we'll discuss yeah. them through the night. Yeah, we, we are going to be here a while. So let's, let's, uh, let's be honest, All there's going to be plenty of time. All night long. <laughs> THL so, soundboard coming out on the App Store. <laughs> yeah, two ninety nine. Yep. <laughs> All proceeds go to THL. Uh, so ninety nine cents or two ninety nine if you don't want ads. Or five ninety nine if your name is Ron Mexico. Oh, sorry, Ron. <laughs> so I'm gonna flop us over here to the uh, the the the, the pre match screen, so you can see our first two matches. Uh, we got Super Murloc and Inzi up first. So that is uh, the 16 versus the 8. Um, wait, are they up first? Or is Snake versus Anfall up first? I think you are uh, Super Murloc first, right? Well, let's see what the chat says. Uh, I'm playing Anfall versus Snake, said they're playing at 9.30. All right, so Anfall versus Snake is up first. I have them backwards on the screen here with the Anfall and Snake at the bottom, but that is because I set the other one up first, and uh, I wasn't going to undo, like, 20 minutes. Well, it's not 20 minutes of work. That's really an over-exaggeration. <laughs> so Anfall versus Snake is our first match. Uh, we will have uh, Snake on the bottom, Anfall on the top. So I'm gonna get in touch with these guys and see. Oh, I've been I've been logged off now because you know that's what Hearthstone does now when you're inactive for a while. It doesn't close the app anymore. I can message him. While you're messaging them, I'm gonna go ahead and take a look and see if we have bans on the website. We do not. I just checked. Okay, then I won't check that. Um, they're hanging out main menus. They haven't started yet, which yep. means we haven't missed Yeah, Snake said he's good to go, waiting on Anfall to respond. And I let Anfall know that we are good anytime they are available to play. So, uh, quick thoughts on here. What do we expect to see for the bands? Uh, uh, see. Uh, uh, let's they both see. Brought, no, one brought Demon Hunter. Snake has Demon Hunter. And uh, Anfall has Interminably Warlock. bust my so bracket. Could see the Demon Hunter left up, potentially. I think it will be a Shaman Warrior ban. Shaman. I see no Shaman, sure. Shaman, sir. Speaking is difficult. <laughs> no, it looks like no, Snake it's, has... It's, it's a new class. It's the Shaman Warrior. It's a Shaman you Warrior. Heard of that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Shaman from Super Murloc. Warrior from Inzy, if we want to be technical here. Don Day. No, it was when it was when Thrall fought Garrosh, and it was the heat of the right. battle was so intense they actually fused into one one being, you know, one orc. That's true. That's lore. That by the way, that's canon. I saw with my own two eyes. So they are preparing now. So okay, yep. so they're they're challenged up, which is good. We do have bans now. Snake's Warrior is banned, and Anfall's Rogue is banned. Oh. So that is a that is a spicy meatball right there. Let so me uh, go ahead and update Demon the Demon Hunter's left up. Yeah, we're gonna get, we're gonna see some Demon Hunter tonight. I'm excited for this absurdity. This is, uh, I mean, this has been such a long time in the making with the 
the delay of the start of the bracket due to nerfs. Uh, you know, I, I was kind of hoping we would keep the intensity, you know, keep the the passion for this tournament alive over the last like week and a half. And it feels like everybody's really excited by it. Yeah, I think the having the Especially bracket component of it really adds to it. So people can follow along to games they might not otherwise care about. Not every game kind of matters. Yeah, absolutely. All right, in we go. Let's in we go to the absurdity. Let's get it. Match number one. Anyone else as pumped as I am? I feel pumped. like I'm super pumped. I'm the only one pumped. <laughs> I'm just over here clicking tons of buttons trying to get the uh, the screen up, which we now oh, yeah. have it up. Uh, so we're gonna see Rogue versus Druid. The Rogue on uh, on Snake side here, because obviously Anfall can't play this when it's banned. <laughs> I mean, he can, but that's just straight up illegal. And we would see uh, a DQ on stream. Stop. You've broken the law. So looking at the list, uh, and follow with the spell druid that's running two exotic mountain sellers as well as Kale. So looking to build a board that way. Uh, we've seen a little bit of a shift away from that uh, on some lists going more Treon heavy with potentially Kale as the only minion. And on Snake's side, he's got um, what looks tough. like a pretty standard Gallop Cron, Cron Rogue. Mm -hmm. uh, no secrets and no stealth. No. So, uh, he's got the Spy yeah. Mistresses, the one drops okay. for stealth, and right. Sky Vateers, yeah. Uh, so, so, right, right. None yeah, the Greyheart Sage. No, he's, yeah. he's, got the, he's got a little bit of stealth synergy, yeah. Right, right. From Snake? Snake? Yeah. You are looking at the wrong list. Well, my my uh, my overlay popped up the wrong list then, so I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. This is technology Just to click on the one. Just click on the one that says Snake and then his rogue. Don't click on Anfall's rogue. No, 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 no. Because I'm, that one's banned. I'm talking about my deck tracker. Pulled up the uh, wrong. Ah, sure. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. That was your first <laughs> problem. Listen, all I know is that Snake does not have Edwin in his opening hand or any time in the first four turns. So this game is actually going to be interesting. Amazing. He's off to a decent start, but uh, not as good as Anfall getting the overgrowth right away. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> in next turn, he just fills the board with two twos, and then I don't know how Snake comes back from that. Yeah, it's not uh, not something that Rogue is really equipped to handle. They're they're not an AOE class, and even if they are, it's Phantom Knives. Uh, which does not kill two twos. So looking at it, his hand does set up pretty well to deal with the Glowfly turn here. Oh, um, it, nah. it's tempting for Anfall to wait one turn just to get down the um, solo force behind it, but really expect him to see uh, play the Glowfly with some of those zero mana spells. But because if otherwise, Snake has the Faceless Corruptor in hand as well as a pretty decent board on his side, so um, you could end up seeing a lot of a lot of dead Fireflies. Yep, he's gonna wait a turn. Yeah, because yeah, if he was if he wasn't gonna wait, he would have played that uh, glow fly out first to uh, right. capitalize on the spells. But and uh, you know what? There's the oh, second glow fly. You know what? I think you just play one. You, you, you know. do now, and you know I think kind of smartly he's he's gonna play the one that he just drew, which will kind of hide the fact that he had one in hand, which is a, which is a good play. Do you guys think it's a little absurd that he drew a glow fly for turn? Yeah, you know. No? All right. Kind of crazy. <laughs> I'll be over bit. here by myself. <laughs> Making absurd <laughs> jokes this entire time. Yeah. I so know no it's Snake absurd, is... but I'm going to do it. <laughs> Snake is going to have to uh, use his Faceless Corruptor here to clear some stuff off, but uh, and I'm sure he'll do that plus Kobold Lackey to clear yep. off what? Mm, one, two, three, four, five. five? Yeah. So I wonder. That's pretty good. Oh, no, he can clear off six because uh, tackle your face. Oh, dagger. Yep. Moment. So, yeah, yep. he'll take a little damage. That's fine. And leave so... a 2 2 up. So I wonder why he chose to not play the Cobalt Lackey first and Corruptor that, and then use the 2-1-1 to take out another 2-2. Two -two. Um, maybe he thought about it after he just saved himself the one damage. But well, I think if you right. draw like a Shadow Step next turn, I think you'd rather Shadow Step the Cobalt Lackey. <laughs> okay. So that could be a reason why. Makes sense. Definitely a couple options here, so... Mm -hmm. Oh, Ooh, all right. So he's snake with the face. You know what? I don't. I don't mind that so much because he's he's recognizing the, the fact face. that he's not going to win in a in you know if if he just continues to try and clear but he's got to race him in a way yep. to get the damage in. So I think that's a smart move here. So, right, 
Yep. Yeah. And Falcus killed two minions and refill the board. Yeah, this is bad news for Snake, and he's gonna find out that uh, Soul of the Forest comes down too. And if he wants to even throw some Iron Bark out there, you know, he, he can do that. Now, Sap is a card, and it is in his hand, but Snap, Sap does not work on two, two taunts. He snapped off that snap. Alliteration. Just like April absurd. <laughs> <laughs> he does pick up a Kobold Lackey, which doesn't help oh. out uh, too, too much immediately, since, you know, the Tree Ant will just pop up after he kills a Tutu. And uh, he doesn't have a way to really kill enough of this board uh, between Gift of the Wild and Power of the Wild. These are going to be some big Tutus next turn. Five fives, in fact. Mm -hmm. They will all be five fives. He'll probably end up killing the Tree Ant that pops out of the... Why you just kill it? So, Anfall has lethal next turn. He'll be. He'll be three no, all. Be... Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I was saying, unless he drew a Savage Roar there, uh, he was going to be off. But uh, I mean, for all intents and purposes, if he taunts up here, uh, there's just no way that that snake is ever getting through. Nope. No, he would need more all mana because... and more cards in his hand than what's currently possible. Yeah, I mean, all because Blizzard had to be mean and take away our vanish. <laughs> it's been gone a long time. I don't know. Know what yeah, I think that. I think I think rogue players need to adjust if they're. It still, still makes me cry vanish. every time. <laughs> Interesting. Oh. Really? Uh... So I wonder what he's afraid of. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Uh, to be honest, what what the problem is here? I mean, this still sets up. Lethal next turn and takes away the board. I presence. think he's gonna over or overgrowth, overflow, whatever. The, overflow. Yeah, overflow. What? What do you? Would, I mean, seven card. You six can. Cardinal? That's uh, he can do that plus wrath uh, the, the three three for the pull the full wrath value, and that way he doesn't really care about overdraw. I guess he could also uh, hit it with the yeah crystal power and then wrath it to draw a card if you really like. Well, there's savage roar. But he's given uh, just with the wrath. I mean, it's unlikely he's gonna get punished for it, but I think giving the rogue more time to do more things is a little bit scary. But honestly, yeah. it feels like he was just picking the slightly lesser of two really good options. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I love setting my opponent to two love health. Especially if Fox is no healing and yeah, always yeah. better to set them to zero health, honestly. But yeah, setting to two That's is true. a pretty good feeling most of the time. And uh, between, yeah, Savage Roar plus Power of the Wild, uh, he should have, let's see, he's going to, he can use one minion to hit the 4-5, he'll have 5, 10, 20, 3, yeah, he won't be able to get there this turn. 6, 12, 18, 24, 26. Hmm. He probably buffs twice here, Gift and Power. Yeah. And kind of what he could have then survives and then... Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't know that he's gonna have to take another turn after this snake probably. Nope. Can see this. Ooh, what a top deck! Yeah, love you. Love to see that. <laughs> you love to see your your one mana one one against a board of five fives. <laughs> you are too late. This return is yeah, don't mine. Mine. Big Witchy Lackey roll is, uh, well, it's a 7-7. Seven, seven. Nope, That's kinda... We're going for 9. Or 8. Easy gruel. Oh. Hey, it's a taunt! <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but this taunt doesn't do much. <laughs> uh, no. No, it does not. No. <laughs> so game 1 goes to Anfall. Game 1. Anfall. We're still making a soundboard. I want this. I mean, I thought about <laughs> it for a this? while, but I have no requisite skills in that department. They're people of Twitch and THL everywhere. So I will. I will uh, pay point... money for soundboard. <laughs> there you go. I'm gonna point <laughs> out. Go, Dante. Problem fixed. The, uh, appreciate it. The people of the bracket uh, had 96% picking snake. 
Oh and my gosh. one person picked Anfall to win. I will give you gosh. one guess. It's the Anfall. It's Anfall. It's Anfall. Anfall did in fact pick Anfall to win. So. I mean, you gotta believe in yourself, right? I mean, I simply didn't. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, we are about to see a mage mirror here. Oh yes. And uh, it's it's definitely uh, gonna be one heck of a ride. I hope we see some Renos. Is this the exact same? Nope. There's some differences in the yep. towards the bottom. Conceptually, the they are the same. Yeah. No Siamat for Anfall. But he does have the overconfident orc. Oh no! What does he? What did he replace? So if we're looking at he's running a water this. elemental instead of cement. Yeah, so he's got the ooze, uh, which is different. He's yeah, running he's ancient well. mysteries and two secrets, whereas Snake's only running the ice barrier. Um, Snake is running Cadgar to pair with power creation and uh, decrease. Um, and he noted that Anfall doesn't have the cement, so. Uh, some interesting choices, interesting targets mm -hmm. on uh, what the mage is building, but um, yeah. the top end is all the same with the, the big dragons, the big spells, Reno, and puzzle box. So they both kind of target uh, demon hunter in different ways. Where Anfall went for like a secret package to control, and Snake was just trying to freeze him out. Yeah, it looks that way. I mean, Snake's got uh, Snake looks like he's trying to build bigger boards quicker with for his Kindle Roost as well. Yeah, um, not something you see in most lists. Oh, it's true. And you can I see love that in card. his hand with the Mana Saber um, and some of those other choices that, you know, right now he's, he's got a little bit of a tempo lead. Picking up the Dragon Caster is great, except he doesn't have the spell to go with it yet. Don't worry, he'll get one. Never mind. I don't know what you're looking for. The other one's pretty good. The other one's not bad, especially into the mage. You know it's going to cast spells. Can't really avoid it. Yep. Meanwhile, on the Anfall side, he's got Reno, which you always like to have going in turn six. Um, it's actually going to be perfect here with the coin. Clear out the Saber and the uh, Twilight Drake. So yep. I expect this to come down pretty fast. Yeah, getting rid of the mana Saber is huge against the mage. Mm -hmm. That's where the real power spikes happen. I do, uh, I do want to apologize real quick. We had uh, the wrong info on the screen here because I, again, had the uh, Inzy versus Super Murloc <laughs> match as the first match. So the first game said Inzy versus Super Murloc. I assure you this is Snake versus Anfall. So the viewers who are, you know, 10 minutes behind us uh, were hearing uh, us talk about people that were not on the screen. So now that is correct. Yes, Icicles, let them know that, uh, that this was my fault. <laughs> Which I just let them Hello, know. Hello, past viewers. This is Snake vs. Zanfall. <laughs> this is important. It is. It, it is. Are, are we, at 10 minutes, are we actually showing the match right now? We are showing the match. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Okay. It also says round two, for what it's worth. It's not round two. Oh my goodness, Stande. You are so Bro. not fired. Bro. To be fair, I did not blame you in chat. So all the blame will come 10 minutes later. So oh no, I'm not using it. Just yet. No, okay, never mind. I tried. Spam. <laughs> so back to the game at hand. Uh, get Anfall pushing uh, some pretty serious tempo back on Snake after playing the Lord of the Rings, getting down a pretty decent pickup from the first half of Condor's Calling, uh, forcing Snake to answer with a relatively early freeze in the Mage Mirror. You really don't want to do that until you're trying to set up your own lethal. But mm -hmm. sometimes you don't have a choice. And he's going to be facing down a pretty decent board next turn with no immediate answer in hand. Yeah, I think the old adage uh, for, for main ring is true that you want to be the last one to play your freeze. Yep. That's always the way That's always the way to win the, uh, the mage mirrors. It doesn't even really matter whether it's a Highlander mage or Tempo mage. That's just the way it's been uh, in mage since the beginning of time. Beginning of mage. You know, it's uh, so, what? mage, so mage wants to freeze summers. last, like uh, like like uh, rogue wants to play Edwin uh, on three oh, with yeah. a twelve twelve as a twelve twelve. All right, Donde, we get it. You lost, bro. I will never, I will never emotionally recover from this.
I don't think you're going to mentally recover from this either. I don't think our chat's going to recover from this because you're just going to talk about it all night. Listen, if they if they want <laughs> if they want to go watch the NFL draft, they are welcome. Until and please don't leave. Please don't leave. I'm sorry. Please ignore Donde. Just ignore me. So I think this is an interesting choice here by Ampol to go with Malagos instead of Power Creation. Um, I kind of like just continuing to push aggressively mm -hmm. and instead of necessarily dealing with this 4-1, but um, he gets the fireball, so that worked out pretty well. Yeah, I think if, if we're in a slightly different situation HP-wise where Snake was closer to death, you might play that Malagos looking for that ultimate nope. push. Uh, but yeah, I think I think we're, at the time, it was 29-29 HP. Uh, you do go ahead and, like you said, establish the board there, and uh, now it's a very different game here with Snake having played Alex out. Right, so you can use that fireball as removal. Um, you kind of also want to put down the card too, as soon as you can. Uh, now that you actually get the healing out of it, unless you're afraid of Reno, but um, you know, using the fireball to clear makes sense. And then coming up probably with the other half of the going to go for Ancient Mysteries. Okay. So he's gonna have both secrets at his disposal, one being free. No, I think he's probably saving the power of creation for Cartoot. Cartoot power creation, same turn. Oh, you mean the uh, thunder drawing? Yeah. Yeah. With you. Yeah. Oh, oh, baby! Iroblast is always a nice looking, uh, nice looking card. Now, is there? It, there's no counter candy. spell in this deck, right? There's no Correct. Uh, Correct. nothing for Snake to fear about just humming this one in face if he wants to. Nope. Right now it's just Flame Ward oh, and wow. oh my The Absurdity That is wow. That is that wow. is and, and, and that six nine is wow. a pretty nice minion. <laughs> 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 Go ahead and clip it. Go for it. I have to wait ten minutes to clip it. I, I broke brushy. Yeah, set a set a timer. Set a timer or something. Someone. I'm gonna I'm gonna put in there. Someone please clip in ten minutes. <laughs> Just set it up. That's perfect. I so, wasn't ready. <laughs> tough choices here for, for All right. Angel as we recover from the outstanding <laughs> wordplay by Dante. Um, I was about to that. say that Snake now has two Pyroblasts set up, but I was destroyed by the nice. <laughs> I think the uh, I think the move here with Doomsayer is the right one though, because those six sixes are just going to keep generating if he doesn't, uh, you know, handle but them, and he didn't have any other real way to do it. Snake's just going to conjure calling the Doomsayer. Think... Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we know. I might have considered. Oh. Just throwing down right now because it doesn't affect the dormant minion, but this kind of works. I think I, I think I like the route Snake is taking here. He's still got board. He's about to generate two more board. minions. Two yeah. more minions. Yeah. yeah. I just want to say, Anfall missed two damage. Uh, charge minion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that uh, that two two one charge on your opponent's turn. That's a <laughs> that's a, a real interesting one crazy maneuver. card. <laughs> And uh, we see it's going to be Reno time on the other side here for Anfall, as that was one of the only pickups we really could have seen in the deck that would have saved him. Did you say it was an absurd pickup? It was absolutely mental. Oh, men mental madness. May. Madness, some would say. May mentality. <laughs> uh, so now, I mean, there's really not much else to do but just Fireball, right? <laughs> or Pyroblast, rather. I'm sorry, it's a bigger Fireball. Yep. No reason not to. Ooh. This. Luckily for Anfall's totems now plus two health. Are we gonna see Yog Box? Are we finally gonna see a Yog Box in a? In so a you got match? one of two lines here. You play Yog Box, or you go for Taunt on Power Creation. I think the other option would be Calicos and see what you get first, and then you can always Yog think... Box after that. Oh but yeah, that's, I guess so. But that is, uh, you know. But you still, it's still the same line. Second place is either. It's same idea. Yeah, absolutely. Box. Uh, Polymorph is interesting. Nah. You just power blast it. Do it. Do it. I mean, yeah, you're gonna power blast it over Polymorph. Uh... Do it. And away 
goes. And Anfall lives potentially to fight another turn if he does. He's still got the ice barrier up. Ooh, Cadgar. Yep. So he'll heal eight. Imagine Reno comes down here to the Caligos. You have to. I, mean, I guess he, yeah, you have to. The, your other option is just freeze and doomsday. Which is. It does give choice. him, yeah, it does give him one more turn of juice out of the, uh, the Malago, uh, yeah, not the Malagos, Calicos. Different Alagos. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. Well. What a ways to deal with what? it now. I mean, he's got his own Zephyrus. Mm hmm. Hmm. So I wonder if you power creation first, see if you get like, yeah. a charge or a rush, excuse me, uh, which you do not, but you're in no danger because of the Zephyrus, so you can still use uh, however much mana you want to deal with this Doomsayer, establish the board. And if you want to, you can even save your Zephyrus and just conjures it if you really wanted to. Oh. Natalie Selene. Oh, come on. <laughs> So he chooses the 6-5 over the 8-3. It all goes away. But that's okay, because you got Alex to follow up, so... Would you say they poofed? They did indeed. <laughs> I'll be here all night, folks. <laughs> Unfortunately yes, for all of us. Unfortunately, Don Day will also be here, too. Hey, that's a Deathwing. It's real good right now. And a Kree is Netherwing. God, not what you wanted. Not ideal. Not ideal. But Deathwing is another nice, uh, you know, uh oh, I need to get, I need to clear the board again. <laughs> right. Avenging well, Wrath! Oh. All hit what the Dragon is... Ring. Uh, five, out, five out of eight. You like drawing? Or I have to freeze yeah, the so other half of this rare frost. Yeah. I mean, you could roll in fireball, but probably wants to stick at that, expecting one of the other dragons to come down. Big prize isn't a bad CK here. So, uh, as a side note here, we're, we're basically now uh, going to be running this like, uh, you know, the actual March Madness where, you know, TNT's got one game, True TV's got another. Uh, so, Super Murloc and Inzy are starting up. So, oh, wow. we can. So we can uh, get some updates from them as we go here, and we will jump into theirs, uh, you know, as time allows, if uh, if it oh. goes real quick. But uh, Reckless Rocketeer is really Face is the place. I think so. Face. Me go face. Yep. Do it. I don't know why you wouldn't, honestly. I mean, the get only it. bad outcome here is the rolling fireball, but you're I still pushing 10 damage. and. That. I don't know, I guess you kind of want something that's going to stick, more likely, even if you don't get the immediate damage. Oh. Ooh. So, this is probably rolling fireball, but the Cadgar into Deep Breeze is interesting. But I guess he might be concerned about Counterspell, potentially, because that's a great picky yeah. anything. Oh, Deep Breeze yeah, to get to... four! Just a whole bunch of water elementals. I think he's going to go for the power of creation off the pilgrim. Oh! So he's testing for mirror energy, I guess. And then they're seeing the counter spell. Ooh. Holy wrath, where's it going? Goodbye, yeah. Kagar. But Kagar wasn't going to live anyway, so that's not a terrible outcome. And not with that attitude. <laughs> it, was, it was dead. It was, it was pretty dead. You're in my hands now. A deep freeze of his own. Oh, because the phase that works. No, you definitely that's, want to take yep, it. Yep, nope, that's that's the oh, ideal nah. target for sure. Mage attacks. You gotta freeze his face. <laughs> I mean, there could be a bite. There could yeah, be a claw. Oh. Uh, isn't there? Yeah, is, no, isn't there an equip a random weapon and then all praise of a sudden he's the a yog? Yeah, the leader of justice. Shh, you gotta praise the yog. Where's Penance going? Alright, not bad. Spellbender's right. interesting. And emergency. That could be pretty crucial. Ooh. He feels his hand. Ooh! Oh, oh man. Man. 
Like the box. Like me. Oh, now he knows he has a pack tactic. Right? <laughs> oh, another mana burn. Wow, that is <laughs> that is something. What an absurd yog box. Even even <laughs> when Demon Hunter isn't being played, he's still messing things up for everybody. I'm not gonna tell Spock because you don't really want to play this crazy another wing when you only have seven life. What else are you gonna do? You're gonna flame one. Okay, that's fair. Does not want to hurt himself. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> well, that's on the empty board. What a draw. What an absurd draw. Life and hope <laughs> of the Chrono Breaker and Cobalt Spellkin. Gonna go to the Spellkin and picks up Arcane Breath, which is really not a bad draw here. Playable Dragons up Alex. The playing advantage. Your opponent does not have playable dragons. At least in the context so far. I mean they're playable. They cost zero mana. You can play them any time. <laughs> you could play them, that's true. <laughs> you might be looking at this box longingly, hoping for a similar outcome. Well, to pick up Brady. a blizzard there, that's an option too. But, you know, right. uh, how long Brace are you going to make us How long are you going to stall this game out, I guess, would be the question. I mean, if he blizzards here, he has no real follow up. It, you almost start thinking about um, is Deathlink here out? And how much do you want to do before you Deathlink? How much value do you want to get out of the rest of your hand? Hmm. Yeah. You get the deep freeze, which probably going to be tough to play. Um, Condor's Calling, you're probably not going to get to play. So, I mean, there's always the, the, the praying for something to, to come out of the Reno uh, hero power. So, mm -hmm. you know, there is there is merit to just freezing the board, just hoping you get help. What? Thought I had more time. All right, so this is a turn I probably would have tried to get away with the deep freeze. Um, Frostbolt to 4-5, uh, or Frostbolt to Alex, and then deep freeze the other. Because you have a Vaporize. So, you know, there's... Oh! No! He used his whole turn! He used his whole turn! <laughs> that is incredible! Oh, and now we have targeted Yogbox! Oh, Lord! Yes! So I will say, when you play Slayer and Prime, and Prime gives you the Yogbox, the Yogbox is still completely random. It does not benefit you. That's okay. Another Ooh, Ice Barrier! Healing. And a Vaporize! Vaporize. Oh the Vaporize is already up, so that reveals what it was. Honestly, this is not a great slaying. You're not happy about this? Eh. I mean, I think, I think I'm happy about it just because it was cool. <laughs> if you're in fault, you're not happy. So you are glad it did lift. Because sometimes, not so much. Good golf. 3-3. Three, three. Yep. Wow. wow. Oh, it restored health to him! Oh, <laughs> it's no! It's a target you wanted, but you don't mind 8 8. Although, knowing there's a vaporize is fortunate. Yeah, do you, uh, do you just. Yeah, I think you eat the vaporize this turn, mm -hmm. which will activate that and the ice barrier. Yeah, it's gonna activate. Um, yeah, I don't think it will activate the flame ward because it's not actually hitting. Nope. Yeah, I think, I think yeah, it's got to actually make contact for that to go off, and the ice barrier so is just at the same it time. It says after a minion attacks. So this right. not lets them potentially clear off the Solarian without anything crazy. Oh, another box. Another Yawn box. Snap pick the box. Fans oh, of Reno, <laughs> tonight you are getting your money's worth in this game. Las Vegas may be closed, but we've got all the casino action you could want right here. <laughs> now, Frostbolt is an easy way to just finish this off, but he's going to opt to Tortola, and he knows power creation is the only... Oh, he gets Ooh. the two charges! Wow! <laughs> Alright, you got to trade first. There you go. Okay, he's going to be played safe there. Well, not played safe, played smart, I should say, knowing that uh, they would have died anyway. Cold blood, that's not gonna help you because you got no minions in fall, so it's gonna be one of snakes. Man, there's so... a lot of swings here going back and forth. Blizzard play the uh whatever the seeker guy is. 
Ethereal That's Arcanist. All your secrets are gone, but that is probably the best use of your mana. That's so. right. Still a body. You know, he's gonna, he's gonna get, uh, yeah, he's gonna get the, the, the quest complete here too. Listen, Reno will give him a secret next turn, so it's all good. Oh, oh my. <laughs> Uh, so Reno, eleven mana minions or eleven mana minions out there. Reno's great. Yeah, Reno is just absolutely a great play here. And then it just gives know, you a ten mana minion, right? I guess so. I actually don't know how this works. Are there any twelve still in? No, there's no twelve left, right? Well, I know yeah, in the past what 12. would happen is it would it would. Oh, what? 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 I'm just gonna activate a couple of these secrets. So, so he's gonna the Reno, Reno. To, to a nine, nine mana card. Life and oh! are worth fighting for. Um, I was gonna say what I think might happen is like if you used to destroy a minion that it couldn't go any higher, um, you would just get a copy of the same minion, I believe, right? Oh, interesting. I so have no idea. We'll have to wait for another game or another Reno random secret to find out. Yeah, we we won't get an answer here, unfortunately. But Dragon Caster's yeah, active. Are we... we Conjure's calling? Yeah. Okay, so this is probably being followed up with Frost Nova. <laughs> oh, oh and Auctioneer. He has too much left on his deck, so that's... I, I, I think Auctioneer real bad here. Yeah, not, not, not <laughs> yeah. what you want to see. And why not get some draws on the other side? There's Solarian. Oh, oh, Power Creation is oh. done. Sorry, I'm okay with the slaring because you got the cross over to follow up. Ouch. Oh no! Oh no! Mama. Oh no! That doesn't help. Oh, counter spells good. good. And that's completely useless. Man, Slayer nah, does not have. Look at all those. Look at all the spells in the deck, man. <laughs> Slayer is just not not oh, in this game. <laughs> I don't think you're mad about that either. I mean, yeah, you, you drew, but health? I mean, I guess it does accelerate your uh, your fatigue, but no, you're not too mad about it. And Going he's got he's got course. Alex in hand too for healing. It's true. And but and Deathwing. The uh, the mantra Don't that box. we stated at the it. beginning, um, no, 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 which no. Mage freezes last. Very true. And it's looking like uh, snakes. Oh, is he gonna Deathwing? You're gonna have oh, to deal with no. Deathwing. Yeah, I mean, he definitely has ways to. Is it gonna draw? Turn. It's gonna draw! Oh my gosh! Oh, that's okay. just. He gonna just straight up took five. Frostbolt, CM at Wind Fury. Divine Shield. Do you Hopeless. just taunt Divine no. Shield? No, you go for the Wind Fury. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Because you got, you got two freezes. You got the Frostbolt this turn, and you got right. the Deep Freeze next turn. You got a taunt, you got Ice Barrier. You have everything to deal with at that point. So, unless Reno just. Absolutely bailed by amp ball. And that's oh, probably not gonna do it. So we'll take three damage next turn. He's gonna take twelve from CMAT. As long as this isn't freezing trap. <gasps> Where's oh. the heal going? Oh, oh. the the most useful spot. This game is pretty much locked up. Like well, it comes down to what Reno does here for Anfall. Twisting Nether. Twisting Nether would be the, well, no head crack is boring. I guess I guess technically there's still a Reno on the comeback for Snake. So he snake, can, snake yeah. draws cards and he's dead. Oh. No. Yeah, wow! He drew what a card game. He oh, he was gonna box. Snake was gonna box. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> I mean, he, he moved it forward. And he was gonna throw the box. What a game! That Holy was years. yeah. That's that fair. was everything that you would have hoped it would have been. Everything that April Absurdity brings to the table, right there in one match. Yeah, I don't even know where we go from here. Game two, Snake. So, um, Sumerlock did mention that they were going to be delaying their start a little bit, uh, just to kind of give us a you know a little bit extra time here. They said they would be get, they would be going by ten thirty, and of course uh, we have Coles up after that uh, against Kurafinwi, 
at 11. So, you know, we're going to be overlapping, I think, based on how, uh, how these games are going here. That's the way it should be. That is how April of 30 works. Absolutely. It's really going to test my opting skills, uh, switching things around, which we've already seen. I failed that once, so... Um, <laughs> It's all right. You, uh, you got all the kinks out early, so uh, yeah, I don't you're really None can escape my fear. And we're gonna see uh, the rogue gets run back for snake and the mage a second time for rainfall. So second shot for both these decks to get their one win. No Edwin and Snake's hand. You love to see it. So it's interesting, this is game three, and Snake still has not played his Demon Hunter. He's saving it. I mean, I guess if you if you figure to yourself, I think I can win pretty much any matchup with it, uh, I don't mind holding on to it. Now, what do you think about the uh, the coin there, Miscreant, other than you could have sealed fate of the 3-2 instead? Uh, I think... This gives you more options because if you just double trade into a three two with the miscreant, you're fine. Oh no, that's right. Yeah, so that yeah, was yeah. that was what was going to happen there. But I mean, he did pick up the the, the kobold lackey, so he can just go ahead and ping it effectively there. But uh, but yeah, that was kind of what I was worried. I, I I was I, I was thinking that was what was going to happen. <laughs> I think the idea there is just to give yourself more options uh, against the mage, especially with the minion on the board, it's maybe a little bit different. Uh, the seal fate becomes a little more attractive, but just being able to have Damn. wacky choices um, just gives you more options than it's turn. So uh, I am a little surprised to see him seal fate face here, but I guess he didn't want to play either of the wackies this turn, so that makes sense from that perspective. Yeah, he's probably just going to cobalt miscreant next turn. That seems like the setup there, but yeah, I, I think... You know, for my money, if you seal faded on the Solarian rather than uh, you know taking damage, you just preserve a little bit of health there. Uh, if you, if you do it that order, the thing too, but it puts all your combos like all like a ton of turns behind. Right. The other thing like too, your turn three you, is just super weak then. Exactly. Because if you coin seal fate, then you have no way of activating your miscreant on turn three. Mm -hmm. So you traded three health just to just be able to keep his com or his uh, his flow going. Yeah, I mean, he could, he could have thrown out a bear witchy lackey or a titanic lackey if you really wanted to activate it, but you don't feel good yeah. about that. Yeah. You don't need to do that against mage, because um, you're not going to die super fast. There is a power spike for mage between turn 6 and 8-ish that you kind of want to be in position for, but otherwise, you want to develop some value in your hand and give yourself the best chance of, one, dealing with that power spike for mage, and two, setting up a lethal of your own, either from Galakron or Top Bible or something like that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that is that is not bad at all for uh, you know the options of a four mana uh, minion. Oh, available. And the serial lackey too. Ooh, bamboozle. Oh. <laughs> as much as we all want to see it, I think eviscerate is the right <laughs> call there. It is the right choice, but. Sometimes you just gotta pick the memes. Don't let your memes be dreams. Always meme. We're gonna have some fun. But Rena does clean this board up. Yeah, we saw Snake hold back that Cobalt Black. He thought about it for a second just to, uh, you know, not float the mana, but ultimately, uh, you know, saved himself uh, the option to go ahead and use it this turn. It wasn't value in playing in space. Exactly. Better save. It's Ooh. So I thought he, he might the use the uh, thought he might use the lackey plus the dagger instead, but opts to uh, play a, play a raptor. I like this play for everything except for the eviscerate that he used. Yeah, I don't think that's you know that's pretty important card to have here for burst at the end of the game. But uh, well, I'm, I'm talking like if you were going to use an eviscerate, I'd rather you using the discovered yeah. one instead of the yeah. The ah, I see what you're saying. But next turn, Snake will have a fully upgraded Galakron ready to go. Yeah. After he plays his shield. Granted, he, he still has another Eviscerate in the deck. He's not running Highlander, so... Yep. Matters slightly less than it would have been a Highlander deck, but... Yeah, but now, but now Amphal knows he still has the two Eviscerates. Mm -hmm. So...
Just run out of solo dudes there. Well, bro, I guess you don't get my grabs. SI agent to create a three two. Makes sense. I love that Zephyr's just always like, y'all need a Tyrion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dead on board. Y'all need a Tyrion. <laughs> oh, that's oh, a good, good, good pickup. Oh. I mean, I guess you'd rather see it as a zero mana card, but uh, ultimately, having it in your hand when you know you've got that Galakrond ready to roll is pretty good. Play out two lackeys here. You know, why not clear some hand space? Yep. Gotta get ready for that Galakrond. Anfall knows what's up. That card has been sitting in the left side of his hand the entire game. Does this still have the visual bug sometimes? I don't believe it does, no. I have, no, I haven't seen that in a long time. Yeah. So if you are Anfall, oh, yeah, I guess it's just Prime. Let's see if it fares better this game. Vaporize. Learn Draconic. They really love oh, Rolling Fireball. Learn Draconic. Oh, really that cool. is a clear. Here's the whole board. Except now you're... you're Why not? Right now. Yeah. Oh, no. Why not? Yeah, because again, oh, it's, it's no minions. target except for your own minions. Yeah, minions. It wants to target Darn. enemies, but if there are no enemy minions, then... Oops. Yeah. So... Yep. Take some 10 cards. Ooh, spells are good. Ooh, so he comes away with uh, what, 13, 14 mana of free cards there? So that's not the worst. How about a new 14? I believe so. Yeah. yeah. Five for the faceless, two devoted maniacs for 13, and then a one mana fair mm, cap. Fair. Does he plan on taking face plus devote to kill the prime? Nope, he's gonna leave the prime. I think he just ran out the ethereal lackey, right? No. Titanic looks like he's gonna try to keep as much uh, you know board presence as possible to try and either force out the AOE from Anfall or uh, you know pr make him have it, I guess. I think the math changes a little bit. That slayer wasn't frozen, but um, yeah, the scenario. Make the mage deal with it first. Observe he could just run out of the card too, right? It sucks up a lot of damage. Yeah, it's just um, I don't know. I think he's looking for. You, I think he really wanted to get eight mana out to get the dragon, but um, for sure he does. He's gonna get the dragon there. and no seeker, right? Yeah. Yeah, I like the choice there of using the Ray of Frost instead of the Arcane Breath. Um, you know yes. the Arcane Breath is always going to be 3 damage, but the Ray of Frost is only going to be 3 damage in that case. Yep. Well, and plus he does have the Dragon for the value. Another consideration, yes. Probably the smarter one. I thought I was supposed to be the Reigns Brushy. What are you doing? You're stepping on my Man, game. Listen, your brains are lacking. I told you. Hype man coming time. in with the brains. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't bring the hype, so I'm just... <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I don't... <laughs> Sorry, you're doing better than Dante. That's all that matters. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Listen, I have less to do than Dante, so it's easy. <laughs> you see what happens. I can, I can cut your mic at any time, man. Do it. I'll just rage in chat. The chat will fuck you. Chat's on my side. Chat will find out for 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, that's true. No, I'll just start spamming chat now. This Solarian is living a long time. It's crazy. Yeah, I guess the, uh, I mean, the good thing is, uh, for Snake, there's not a whole lot of direct damage spells or, or anything in, uh, you know, Anvil's deck. Mm -hmm. So there's not really any massive punish. I mean, the AoEs do hurt, but we've already seen a Blizzard get used. So I, I would... It, it's um, just Frostbolt, right? Frostbolt, and then if Malagos gets something? Correct. It's yeah, direct or, or Calagos, yeah. Yeah. I guess Puzzle Box, so if you want to be real technical. Reflect. Listen, man. Praise be to God. Breath can give you something, too. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see that a dragon. Uh, yeah, not in this case, but <laughs> so he's just gonna use double red right, and decrease the face. Yep. And not the face with the seven seven. Did I see that right? No, no he's just killing the one two. Oh, All no. right. No, yeah, yeah, go face. Yep. The arrow disappears, and you don't know. <laughs> that was uh, about to be concerning. 
So he can clear the board with the fact that yeah. the gold ball and the And the one two trade? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, betrayal. Does that freeze the Slarian, right? It will freeze the Slarian, yes. Oh no, because it just says oh no. Man, That's Alarian has spent more time frozen than any <laughs> other man yet. <laughs> but it's still alive. He was to clear him. Interesting. See, he's, I mean, I guess 11 cards in the deck is still a decent amount, but it he feels like point. the way that Snake's playing this game is kind of like, almost like he's trying to run a mage out of resources, but he's running out of resources faster, it feels. Yeah. Well, I think I was gonna say Togwaggle is, is around the corner, and uh, I don't imagine Togwaggle is gonna draw him any free cards at this point. Is, do you think he's gonna probably go for like a Zerog's Crown, or maybe try to spike something really powerful with a Goblet? It's risky mm -hmm. when you haven't seen Reno yet. Um, but in terms of the cards he'd be looking for, there's nothing big what left. Um, we've seen obviously Galakron and Kronks. Um, we've seen at least one Shield. Both corruptors, I believe. So yes, um, really running out of cards you'd want to draw for free. So as much as the Reno threat is there for the Darius Crown, you almost have to. What about make all your minions uh, legendaries? Uh, is this actually a uh, yeah? That's uh, a good point. A, a turn oh, all your minions yeah. into legendaries. Uh, you know, the, one of the rare uses of it. Mm -hmm. With how much you can generate and get rid of that that reborn minion, he probably wants to play mm -hmm. cost first. So that's why he's setting up this board. But yeah, that, that actually would make a lot of sense. Because most of his hand, not doing much. I do think it's interesting because, I mean, as we all know, the the most optimal play is typically to draw a bunch of free cards uh, when you tog waggle. But uh, it's always interesting when you have to go that alternate route in these games uh, as, as the, you know, the, 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 the line changes for you uh, to see exactly uh, if, if players do adjust to that or not. Right. Uh, not the best options for the Malagos. You probably wanted some damage, but the probably more effects worked out pretty well to get rid of that life steal. I love that it makes a sheep legendary. It is a legendary <laughs> sheep. It's Malagos' sheep. And now, I, Snake is getting low on health regardless of everything else. Uh, you know, 12 health. We've already seen Zephyrus. We haven't seen, uh,. You know, obviously Reno hasn't come out yet. We haven't seen uh, we've seen Malagos. Green. So there's definitely Caligo a lot of potent stuff. Yeah, there's potent stuff still in Anfall's deck that could just end this game. Looks like he's going for the board clear. Shadow step the Kronks. Uh, that is a Make definite possibility. Oh. Nope, he hero power. Never mind. So we get the Kronks on the board. I would have thought you would, you know, clear your board, maybe make a shadow step and play a 6 6 and an 8 8. Mate. The fly booter does also assist the uh, tog waggle turn everything into a legendary strategy, as that now gives him, uh, you know, an extra chance to get a get a good legendary there. I like it's the guy that died, he's been waiting for all game. Oh, flame strike. Flame strike is massive. Casual ooze. You missed your, your opportunity, buddy. Where were you five turns ago? You never draw ooze on time. Ooh. Oh, that is that is another great time for the for, Yeah. Let's see what he goes for. He's probably thinking about crown versus cobalt. I think that's I probably think. right. I don't think there's anything left in his deck that he would want multiple of. Yeah. Um, certainly nothing you could predict with any certainty so i guess like the only card left would be the last eviscerate right that would be the probably the best option but would, would that not be something right. cobalt yep, it is it oh so, you know what why not get uh why not get more uh um, so here's where you could fill your hand with something and then replace all of it with legendary minions i like that And it would leave you with the five five on the board, I think. Then it would work out that way. No, it would you'd have to do it? In, no, you could do it, right? Because you yeah. could. It depends on if you have the lackey. That's a, yeah. Go, if the lackey so. survives, you can do it all all Ready next turn. For a box. Here comes box. Wow. Yeah. Right, let's see it. Praise be to Oh. 
like All right, that. Let's see if those live. Let's see if those live first before we get excited. I'm excited anyways. Darn, he has no beast in hand. What are you doing? <laughs> Not terrible. Uh, I mean, it didn't hurt him in any way, so it cleared the board, the, what minimal board there is. Get him another draw, something to use the rest of his man on. And those will already live, so that's representing a threat. I have confirmation that Super Murloc and Inzi are getting going right now. What do we get? Two of commas. <laughs> Zephyrus that might be active soon. A uh, taunt, to like... Oh, Big Katrina taunt. as well. Mm -hmm. Katrina yeah, not you, very good. Yeah, you're not going to be happy with most of your Katrina outcomes, but it's still a big minion that does need an answer. I'm just saying he's kind of in Hail Mary mode at this point, <laughs> so I mean, unfortunately... you're going to play as Katrina and you're going to get a lack, probably. <laughs> probably. Not a good answer from Handfall side to deal with these two big minions and take out the 6-6, six -six, but... He does have a big price, though, so... Oh, well, charge. charge is good. Uh, I think about spell damage, but I don't know that there's going to be any value to it. This probably ends up just being a charge to clear out the 5-10. Yeah. And you can push four afterwards. Yeah, the possibility you might consider playing gadgets in just to play the. I don't know, you can't play a spell out there, right? Because you only have to. No, so. yeah, you don't have the mana for it. Yeah, so it's Archmajor Rocketeers. Whether you want to kill the 510 or put down the big minion. Oh! No. Goes with the big minion. Knowing that your hand, your opponent's hand is full of legendary minions, most of which might be able to deal with those. And knowing you have the Vaporize. I kind of like it. Man. It's still upsetting. Stroll is one point into it. I guess it's uh, sort of playing around back here, Big Rise. Not giving away. Come on, Zephyrs. What are we waiting on? Let's try to figure this out. What have we not seen? In Snake Stack. Has he played any saps yet? He played one sap, one eviscerate. He played sap. One shield. The SI agents, I think. Yeah, he's played. He's those. played no SIs. Yep, that's what it is then. Calico draw. It just what be lethal. He? It will not be anything close to lethal. Man, you're probably taking Ray of Frost here. How am I supposed to get hyped over these lame choices? <laughs> Ray of Frost is pretty much <laughs> the only option. Yeah. All right, I like Rare Frost. I think it's a great spell. Rare Frost, man, it's awesome. Let's go, cold spells. Yeah. Listen, man. Here's the thing. If that was a pyroblast, that was just lethal. <laughs> if it was a fireball, it was lethal. No, it wasn't because he starts to get to a taunt. Ah, you're right. You I double, silly goose. I I did I did Valen math. I doubled it. Hey, it's another big bad. Uh, what big oh. archmage? Arch archmage. That's it. Yeah. There it is. There that it is. is active. Go to face and then Katrina pushes six and then uh, twisting. Marvelous. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. oh. Spellbender. He's gonna get a spellbender. I guess he's just playing around counter spell there. Kind of. I think he definitely wanted that type of stack though. Yeah, but. I think if you rather have your shadow step get counterspelled instead mm. of your twisting nether. <laughs> right. He yeah, he played the only the only line he really could there. He, you know, he's hopeful that he gets it back, but what? at the end of the day. Oh, oh there's there's a a right. Boring. I'll take that. You gotta go all in, man. Oh my goodness. Here comes Alex. Life and hope are worth fighting. It's like you know, real someone top deck Alex at the Exact moment they needed it. Another, Another Calico! And that was Dormu. And there's a Frostbolt. That's actually damage. I feel like it's always Frostbolt face. Another Dormu. 
Right, as you've made your last decision. Yeah, yep. Nazdorma comes down and you just slam that enemy turn he, button. Oh, no, it's just going to Conjure's Call. Yeah. You still play North Domu, though. And you, Sarah. Play it. This is completely unnecessary. Yeah, it doesn't seem uh, seem worth it to me, but... Oh, no. Oh. Hold back the Nazdorma. Why are you not playing? Come on. I wanted the whole dragon fleet out there, man. Ooh, Malagos. <laughs> yeah, Malagos, make that sap plus five. <laughs> Just a Malagos fan, you know? Just get a snap picket. <laughs> oh. Rush Lackey, really not helping too much here. Your yeah, this yep. so He's playing out the string, but it's not going to matter. This is a win for Antball. He's up 2-1. So now do we see Snake play the Demon Hunter? With his tournament life on the line. I think, I think he has to. Yeah, what's left? Just Warlock from Antball? Uh, yes, just Warlock. Game 3. Oh, Antball. What the hard counter used to be, but still... Pretty decent matchup, I think. Are you talking about Galakron Warlock? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, I'm just mean, playing the double Artificer's version. And that is that is exactly what you want to see to uh, and you know, have, the best, Fire. have the best chance. Oh my! What is Rain of Fire for? It's Rain, Rain of Fire is for Demon Hunters. Is it? What? How much does it kill in Demon Hunter? I mean. You can kill like any of the Illidari, like if if they if you see a lot of the rush, uh, you know, six dudes that rush. Oh yeah, the rush demon ones. The, yeah. The and the rat scale naga that you know when they all die they kill you know every, like yeah, they, it's cas three. casino dh essentially. That's fair. I really like that other one mana card deal one or deal three to an opponent's minion and three to one of your own. What is that card called? Oh, uh, Felbolt. Yeah. Yeah. In, like in, card is yeah. Cool. In unstable fell bolt. Any update from the other match? Uh, so we, we have the bands. Okay. Uh, so there's that. We have the uh, you know demon hunter band as expected, and the rogue is banned uh, for, NZ. for for Okay, the NZ rogue is banned. Cool. But, so that means uh, demon hunter for super murloc is banned for those folks. That don't know what we're talking about. It was up on the screen briefly there in between they games. Never catch me. Listen, man, that was a long time ago. Yeah. You know, the, the, when the stream is moving at the speed of light, it's madness. I don't know how fast they you think the speed of light is, me. but I don't think we're moving that fast. <laughs> why, why are you? Why are you trying to pull me down? <laughs> I'm just out here having fun. Are you are supposed to be the hype man? Hype! Let's go. Let's go! Don't question my hype. <laughs> this seems like an expensive hand, I think. Listen. I don't know about this imprisoned guy. Is he honestly good enough to fill a slot over the... What is it? The five mana guy? Oh no, he has five mana guy. What guy? What did he cut for this? Are you talking so about just a Yeah, it's just a slower version, right? Yeah. So he's he's running. He is running the adepts that do damage when you've attacked. He is not running the thing that makes your demons cheaper, which you usually see in conjunction with this. But he's running both imprisoned antons and two priestess of fury. So he is a heavy deck. But he's running the four blades. So he's got a little bit more. Uh, Lifesteal, a little bit more sustain. Yeah. So, just kind of a heavier version of the Tempo Demon Hunter build. Um, also running the Murloc Rush as well. So, um, Anvil is getting into dangerous territory here. That, well, that mm -hmm. really saved him because now he can just play that out and, and play the Flames this board. But, um, but before that, he really didn't have a whole lot of options in hand to try and uh, save his life here, other than you know having to waste a Dark Skies on a board of three total health. Or is he still going to do it? I think I think he's still gonna do it. Yeah. 
And that's pretty crazy even on there. So we're sitting here talking about how much heavier this build is than others, Ooh. and he still just about killed the Warlock. In update, fire. update, update mm -hmm. alert. Super Murloc down, 1-0. Mage B Priest. Yes, it did. As expected. There. Was that the hype you wanted? It's good. It's good stuff. <laughs> it's gonna heal for five here with the sack back. So in Anton gets dropped pretty fast here, I think. No, he's gonna he's gonna Ooh. Interesting. Okay, he's not gonna do that. Man, he needs to stop throwing these around. He still is. Okay. I feel like we're doing it Trying to keep the board cleared for the priestess next turn? Yeah, uh, that must be it. Um, so I was going to say, like, the dormant minions, you want to get down as soon as possible. But yeah. at the same time, like, you give yourself a chance to have priestess on a nearly empty board. Especially yeah. considering how lethargic Cantle displays have generally been. So. Well, plus, uh, plus he's lost, but, like, he's already down one sack pack, too. Mm -hmm. so. It was the whoopsie? Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't know. Unless he had planned on doing something else instead of the what? The invoke. But we're gonna play damage. I'm so. I mean, he's confused. got double artificer in hand. So if he fall, if he draws another breath, he could be in business here. He does not. Oh, rain of fire. <laughs> I think he'll take the smarter route and draw three cards. <laughs> All right, There's so another breath. Breath. That's humongous. So he's got that for next turn. That is a he heal 16. So is there a world where he's dead? Not quite, right? So, so Danton's not popping. Seven, seven, eleven. So he's one off. Ooh. So this probably ends up being a priestess. Oh, it's a twin slice. Oh. Yeah, one off, one off lethal here, and he's gonna have to go ahead and yep. slam that nether breath onto uh, just the five four, not the two four. Oh, oh I thought he lived for a second. Yeah, that last hit is always delayed. Oh, it, it is. It's like possible? just so slow, and it gives you many heart attacks for watching it. <laughs> and there's a chance this could have been a heal for sixteen, so yeah. he ends up getting away with it. Draws three, puts him up to nine cards in hand. Right. Yeah, I like getting the Worshipper out there to eat some damage, too. Absolutely. Take your final burn in the card. Nope. We can go ahead and uh, sack back if he really wants to. But ultimately, what are you doing there? You're, just, you're, you're healing five. Just, well, And then yeah. taking six, possibly. Yeah. What you're afraid of burning at this point? Yeah, that's that's really the question. Is what don't you want to burn? It's probably like Dragon Queen Oxstraza. We have uh, Kronks. Kronks, 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 and Dragon Queen are probably your yeah. big uh, your your big concerns. Oh, I just realized he's not running Zephyrus. Uh, that's that's common. Is it? Yeah. I love my Zephyrus in the list. I, I mean, it definitely has its place, and it, it's totally fine. I think either way, but yeah, it's uh, it's not an automatic conclusion in the set. Yeah. So how? Very uh, fine burn. A then fine burn. A fine burn. Off. No, I think you wanted that because you wanted the, that. Oh yeah, the You don't have another way of, of draw of putting on minions. I mean, See, this is why you're the brains. I I don't know. I think I'm I'm okay with that based on you know based on what he's got in hand. I think I'm okay with that. But long term, yeah, that's obviously a relatively good burn. Um, yeah. And I, I think you should have enough. Uh, oh no, he just shield. Just shield, the yeah. And plague. I think the question is whether or not he wants to. Yeah, whether he no. wants to nether breath, but um, yeah. you know, how's oh, happening? Another update. Inzi wins game two. Wow, Hunter wow. versus priest. This is moving quick. That priest. That's tough. That's a tough game to lose, though. So yeah. I appreciate happy losing to the hunter. I don't think. Unless it's a different hunter than I'm used to. Highlander hunter. Okay, that makes more sense. So Enzi's left with the uh, Egg Warrior against 
Yeah. One deck that should beat it, one deck that do, probably beats it, and one deck that I don't know. <laughs> do we want to hop on over to that match and see what's going on there? I mean, we're let this one play out. I but. say we're we're in the heart of uh, of of a very very brutal series here. Obviously, Anfall wins and it's over. I wish I could do split screen. That picture in picture is what we need right now. Oh, I can picture. Look, I have a screen over here. No kidding. <laughs> hey, if if someone wants to stream op it and put it on their Twitch channel, I'll uh, open a web browser and put the Twitch channel on this screen. Picture nice in picture. Level. Oh yeah, that's it. It would be mint. Off. Honestly, I was gonna say one of us can go over there and give updates as it goes. It looks like Anfall is in pretty good position. I know there's a cane in hand. Altruus is really the uh, you know the hopeful draw there for Snake, but he was not to yep. be. I will still find you. I gotta say, Sun Fury's line entering is pretty cool. Oh, no doubt. Are you having over icicles? Uh, yeah, let me go ahead and switch over to that game. And I'll see if I can't pull up on the stream too, but that may take a little longer. I think I prefer the attack here. Take your five damage to his face, use your Plague of Flames, and then drop the Devoted Maniac. Or, I mean, even just take your, uh, you drop your Galakron. Trade, trade. <laughs> Galakron, yeah. All fine plays here. This clears the board. You know, I mean, you just got one card in hand, so. Oof. That is not... I think that that might just do it. I I don't think there's any way Snake can come back. There's... I mean, barring like a Hand of Gul'dan into an Altruist and then another Hand of Gul'dan perhaps. I don't know. There's really, yeah. there's really not much of any other choices here. It's gotta or, be perfect. The and we're gonna see Galakron come down too right perfect. here. Oh no, Snake doesn't Snake doesn't have skulls. Oh no he does. I can't read. Everyone at home ignore me. I'm a little rip. Two dormant minions, but a taunt, and uh, we've already seen Kane, so yep, that is pretty much it. Gonna do it. Right? I mean what Warblades oh. is the draw, and that is you not enough. Alright. So it looks like the demon beat the demon hunter. I mean, that's why Galakron Warlock is there. Yep. Wow. Not what uh, just... really many people, except for what we said, Anfall uh, expected this to be the outcome. You bet on yourself, and you win. It's true. Good way to do it. Wow. All right. Well, let's uh, let's speedy on over. So, game so super... and fall. Three. So like, yeah, we're gonna get up. there quick. Yep. Heat up the priest again. Uh, isn't it a reasonable position against the warrior deck? Uh, so sixteen life, but okay. has the convincing infiltrator up as a wall, and not a lot of gas at the moment in Cindy's hand. All right, Super Murloc on the bottom. <gasps> For those at home, Super Murloc will be on the bottom, and Z will be on the top. <laughs> Once we get there, who knows how long it's gonna actually take Donde to get there? So nope, we're already up. We're there. already up. It's oh already up. Oh my gosh! I'm just updating the graphics so that we uh, have the correct people on screen. It still says Snake for example, but that'll be changed very shortly. Um, I mean, it's not like you did that earlier in the stream either. So yeah, that's no, not important. I wanted to get everybody. You know, I wanted to get the the right ma the right match on stream first. It's true. So I'll let you guys handle the casting you. duties while I uh, while I just do the opening. I'm pulling Absolutely. up Saku. I'm going full Saku right now. Big whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, bar guy. Totally <laughs> Don't play. compare yourself to the almighty Saku. <laughs> just kidding. Do what you want. The priest is really oh, close to you to turn in the corner and... Yeah, I think... I think... For the warrior. 
Ankar helps a little bit, but you're oh gone. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That means getting a cartoon on top of that, you're gonna get a second renewal. Do we know when it's died for Super Murloc? Uh, convincing infiltrator for sure. Okay. And something I feel that was maybe a little less. So you great. just. I think you just slammed the Katarina then, right? Uh, at this point, no, you want to get the, the time heal down. Oh they, they get another heal, another spell. I guess. I don't know. I feel like a 19 year. You're fine. I think if you had only lost the taunts, then the Katarina makes sense, but um, yeah. I'm fairly confident when I first came into the game, there was something that would not be a good res target. Okay, that's fair. I guess unknowing knowledge. Ooh. But NZ does get to do the combo. Gain a ton of armor here. Oh, he copied the bomb. He gets one bomb out of it, though. So, Dante, uh, super stream question. Not that it's particularly relevant at this moment, but I would also need to be on a 10 minute delay, I am assuming. I'll show you Are you uh, asking? Yeah. I think he's talking about he also uh, was, was streaming. So, yeah, it would have taken us 10 minutes to get the, uh, the match up and running. That was an error. The overlay should now be correct. You see, should, uh, no, it's not. Ignore me. <laughs> we I love believe. it. We believe in you, Dante. Well, it still says Sometimes. Anfall at the top. Everything else is correct. Right. Oh my goodness. Anfall back to back matches. It's happened in THL before. It has happened. It's true. All right. Now we're that seeing correct names. Here. And that's, of course, as I'm done. That's okay. So Super Marlock finally wins on the Priest. Enzi is up 2-1 right now. Enzi has won with Mage and Hunter. So all they got left is their Warrior. So I would probably expect Super Marlock to play the Druid next. Big Druid. I love me some Big Druid. The other option is Totem Shaman. Oh. You're going to love you some of this game, I tell you that. Yeah. Look at that Scrapyard Colossus. Look at that boy. Aw. Right choice, but... Oh, there's exotic mounts. Look at this. Oh, yeah. NZ with the full golden deck, by the way, folks at home. We'd love to see that. So Absolutely. Just a quick update on our scoreboard. Uh, Anfall knocking out Snake obviously only benefited Anfall, but it significantly hurt Dabs. His, uh, his max points Ooh. have taken a hit. Dabs, the oh. former bracket leader. Dab. Oh, I take that back. Dabs got hit not by Snake losing, but by Yellow Dart losing, because he had Yellow Dart in the finals. So, Ooh. ouch. That's why you can, you can never really call the bracket challenges this early, especially, you know, first round not even being over yet, because uh, there's so, you know, so much is dependent on who makes your final four or you know, ultimately wins the whole thing. And, uh, and yeah, uh, that one's got to hurt, Cotton. Allow me to take this moment. <laughs> I meant to do this when I was talking about my last debased, but uh, a sincere apology to Agent PWE, who put his faith in me to win the whole thing and was immediately disappointed. So... Hey, I Agent PWE, we'll, we'll have a chat after this uh, about your decision. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. Listen, I, I approved the decision. <laughs> I dedicated my tournament run to him. And I am just so crushed on his behalf, not on my own. I mean, you didn't have trust in yourself, so... It's true. I told just him that, too. You know, that two <laughs> other people had more trust in you At than you had in yourself. Done. At least two other people. Yeah. But probably only two. But probably only the two. <laughs> That's right. I mean, the only thing that could be worse than trusting you to win matches would be trusting Donde to win matches. Hey, now. <laughs> You're an all-star. 
in Dante's hey, now, defense, you're an all star, or possibly to his detriment, uh, no one picks Dante to win it all. So that's true. No one, I didn't pick. I didn't pick Dante to win it all. So I'm just saying that's smart. You know. Is that double blood sale? It is. Off both the Sky Raiders. <laughs> Probably not the pirate you wanted here, but I don't know how many good pirates you're really looking for. Maybe yeah. green skin, but I mean, Dread Corsair is pretty good. The one that bounces like the Death Rattle Sap. Yeah, pirates probably your best bet against the figures. Oh, okay. No respect for the egg. He's just trying to beat him down. The brute will come down. So with two blood swarms in hand, uh, that brute could be pretty threatening. How uh, that being said, it's about to die. Yeah. But otherwise, what we get? Ooh, it's not a bad one. Another egg, but no Terran. I'll probably play on a live wire, but how are you dealing with this 5 8 You are not dealing Looks with Looks like five. ignore. On the wings of evil. Spoken. Ooh, Spoken's really good. Well, he does a pretty decent slate of one man spells. Yeah, I mean, even just shield slam after you combo just about kills everything with the mm -hmm. armor smith. Wow, draws a spell off the top with a handful of minions. One health. That doesn't draw anything. She oh. tried to hit both eggs. There's one. It's one egg. There's two. The other. But they probably still get cleared off, I imagine. I would think so. At this point, as a druid, you just want things dead. Yeah. So far ahead, and you got this other twin tyrant in hand. To... You're until you get a taunt down. You got you have to survive one more turn. You're at risk of a prime play, but let me just check and see if Enzi's running for crowns. Something's got them. No, Enzi is not. Wow. Okay. Wait. No, he is. Okay. Man, that I can't. Sense. That's okay. Once again, I'm your literate. Nor would I say. <laughs> so he would. Just about. I guess he would have. Been dead to the front here, but fortunately for Super Murloc, that is not available at the moment. Ooh, Bomb Squad's good. Charge isn't bad either, though. The biggest minion you have already has Rush yep. on it, and Ooh. that's a pretty major draw. I think you still just play the Twin Tyrant, right? Kill off the 1 1, Twin Tyrant, kill off you the 1 You want to five. taunt down, because you're, you're playing with fire um, yeah. and with that much life. Uh, Corkron kills you almost always. Yeah, cause, oh yeah, Corkron's. Does he have mana? Oh yeah, they'll have full combo with the Blood Sworn. You definitely have enough damage. Uh, you have at least 12. Yeah. That's man, sometimes you just gotta get risky. You say that, but that's exactly how I lost the base. Is I took a risk with my health at 18 <laughs> and died because he got the Corkron to kill me. So. I do not advise taking that risk. <laughs> That's fair. I don't know how NZ pushes through for the rest of the game. It's going to be tough. Do you um, scrap your to start coming down next turn? So. Yes. Yeah, this is just about wrapped up. Yeah. <laughs> These like that window from the right. Pretty much close. Ooh, egg. Another egg. Kind of <laughs> like to see it, but. Really doesn't do anything at this point. <laughs> I challenge you to Makara! You know how you can, but not as much as you can. Yep. Um, you're almost certainly dead in two turns. Especially once you see a scrapyard Colossus. Uh, Play the golden one. Play the golden one. <laughs> oh! If you're in Z, you're picking up your cards and taking on a totem shaman. Your bottom writing. <laughs> Interesting to see Super Murloc's dream continue to stay alive, too. Hey, I'm back, by the way. Yeah, we know, sadly. 
everything is set up I for mean, the next game as well. Uh, I know Kuru Ooh, has not added any of us as a friend yet, or at least he hasn't added me as a friend. Nope, me either. Um, so I, uh, I have the asked. Big sad. Yeah, I've, I have asked uh, Cole to let him know to make sure that all of us are added. Though he says he's offline at the moment. So NZ has to make it through 23 health of taunts to even get the face. It's interesting, he went for the armor set. I guess he kind of had to, but not having the yeah. skipper go along with it. It's rough. So are there any 3 mana charge beasts that you can create? I don't think Huffer's in that pool, right? No, so, Huffer is not. Yeah. You're probably still mm. playing it. Um, the other option is just playing the other Colossus. I, I think you just play the other Colossus, really. I don't think there's any beasts that backfire on you. I mean, you could get some extra taunts, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, like you could get a rush or two, on. it's fine. Yeah. I think the Colossus makes a lot of sense. Uh, this way you at least kill one of the armors. Uh, I mean, either way you can kill. Yeah. You them no matter what. You want to go face with the rest of your stuff. You just want this game to end. You probably kill both of them. With the, use the uh, yeah. iron to kill the other one. And the other two. Just goes face. Probably goes face. And just let's make it through. 20 health worth of taunts. Showing a little bit of respect for something, but realistically, uh, NZ's not going to have an option here. Oh, that's a skipper here, which almost certainly still wouldn't have been Yeah, I try to go for the spell lacking to maybe get a brawl. Here we have it. Five. Game five. Look at that. So back to back game fives. It's quite Wait, a no, no, never mind. It was only game four. Sorry, it felt like game oh five because it took goodness. so long to play. Go back to your wherever you came from. That mage mirror. Op Opland, sorry. It just throws everything off. Yeah, the mage mirror was the mage mirror was enough for like three games. Mage mirror was absurd. Let's see, do we have any other potential games going? Going through my friends list doesn't like it. Right, we do have Kuru versus Holes next. Kuru ever adds us. So who is favored in this matchup? I actually have no idea. My gut tells me the warrior because the Just shaman. Just whiskey skipper and. Yeah, the Shaman is so dependent on having a board stick, and the Warrior is so good at not letting anything stick between the weapons, the Skipper, the Rush Minions. I think it's really uphill for the Shaman, um, unless the Warrior is unable to answer a big totem into Reflection, into Splitting Axe type play really early on. Well, that is not what we're looking at on the Super Moloch side. Nope. And we do see a skipper, we see a blood boil, we see a challenger, so pretty good options early on for NZ to keep any totem from getting out of control. Hmm. He kinda had to kill one too, I think. Uh, you're not really benefiting from going face here. Uh, you don't want to hurt the warrior until you're in position to really push damage. So um, I think the other option, also trying to determine whether or not you want to play a lackey. You definitely don't want to rush into that egg, so I that's a uh, question. But Og Merchant, um, not too much value out of using a Divine Shield on one, too. So. Be interesting to see if he coins out the Hog Merchant on uh, the Totem, or if he's going to go for the Mana Tide. Yep. A little sturdier. 
could play to turn might might want to hold it. Um would only die to a weapon charge here. Um uh, so looks like it might stick a turn. Cause the pirate activation is not gonna hit. Yep. And oh he's gonna get the blood oil. Oh and the brew comes out for one. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's no reason yeah, to rush. Yeah. With that battle rage in hand, that's a great reload. Yeah. Draw that six. Point in time where Shaman is uh, pretty dead. Nearly out of options. You're not running any AoE, I don't believe. And you're never getting anything to stick to at this point. Such Can we just add me? Yep. Yeah, the only real AoE you can get is a harsh spawn. Yeah, or uh, potentially, I mean, you don't have the lackey now, but if you could yeah, generate a spell lackey. Yep. But this is all uphill for a Super Mario Lock. Guess you're kind of over for a taunt totem. And heal totem's okay, because it's probably going to live. You don't have a follow up yet. It. And you're definitely seeing a yeah. six card battle rage right right away. Yeah. You can rampage up your skipper too if you want to. Yes, you can. And uh, knowing what we know about totem shaman, that's almost certainly the right play. Yeah, we'll clear both totems. Oh, no. So. Oh, I guess we can bloodsworn the brute. Yeah. Probably better. <laughs> Both yeah, it pops both eggs. Yeah. The same looks nothing over. I was gonna say needs earthquake, but also needs two more mana. <laughs> yeah. At least. He's dead by turn seven. Definitely dead by turn seven. Uh, probably dead next turn. Oh yeah, the rampage and Corklon. The Hex is probably the choice here just to take off one of the brutes, but really you're just in a world of hurt at the moment. 7, 10, 16, 20, 23. Yeah, Enzi has 23 damage on board. Would have been lethal without that Hex. You are victorious. But Super Murloc scoops it up anyways. Yeah, that's definitely a matchup that he did not want uh, nope. going in, but the way the first couple of games went, not being able to get a free win, I think against the Hunter really is the one that, that hurt, but um, did pretty good coming back, just ran to that last matchup that I really didn't want to see. Double Brute by turn four is pretty hard to deal with. <laughs> yeah, especially in a class, well, in a, in a deck that's running no AoE. So that is, uh, yeah, that's that's NZ 3-2 as he advances over Super Murloc, and the Cinderella run is short-lived, unfortunately, for Super Murloc and any Super Murloc fans out there. I think we're all Super Murloc fans at heart. So our first Sweet 16 matchup is set. It will be NZ, the 8 seed, against Skittles, the 13 seed. Ooh. Quite the numbers coming out of the Leroy Jenkins bracket. Leroy? Both players are amazing players, too, so it'll be a great matchup. Hopefully, we can get that one on stream. Hopefully, we can get more of these matches on stream. If any of you out there, let us know if you want to be on stream. We'll pot try to put it on as best we can. I know Dante doesn't have a life, so he's always down the cast. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dante, how uh, how Coles and Kirkman are getting started? Do we have time to go back through the rest of the bracket that we didn't get to prior to the matches starting? Coles said, uh, sorry, I was too busy banning Coles in Twitch chat for sassing me uh, 10 minutes ago. <laughs> so um, yeah, we do have a few minutes, I think. they. Uh, I'm looking at... Uh, All right, let's go. Here. Speed round. Yeah, you know what? Let me bring that up real quick for you. Where do we... So we left off at Avi versus Shu. That was the next matchup on the list. Yep. Avi 3-0 over Shu. Uh, don't see the bands. Thank you, Battlefy. Um, I think this was the first match to get completed. 
Um, yes, this was ball. this was literally it, done either the night of the reveal or not the night of the reveal, the night of the the bracket going live or like the very first day after. Yep. Yeah, they played almost immediately. What do we think? Let's see. Another tempo demon hunter from Avi. The secret package on the rogue. The Galacron package. Highlander hunter. And Highlander Mage to finish out Avi's list. Highlander Hunter from Shu with... So they're pretty much yeah. running the same yeah, list. Yeah, like the exact the same lineup, just Priest instead of... Priest for Demon Hunter. Which so far has worked out for the Demon Hunter. Yeah. And definitely did for Avi. Well, if you play Demon Hunter. Right. But eating a ban and getting to ban something else um, seems to be a decent way to go. It's almost like a, a free roll. You get to bring three classes and, you know, most likely your Demon Hunter gets banned out. Yep. So, Avi was one of the 100% picks in the first round. And uh, pretty high percentage winning round two as well. So, a lot of people putting their faith in, in Avi to make it a decent way through the tournament. Uh, not really a poor bet. I mean, he's been historically one of the best players in THL. So, yeah, that's true. Uh, you could do worse than picking him to go deep into the tournament. That's and true. For example, you could have picked Dante to go deep in the tournament, and then you would have been Yeah, silly. that would have just been a mistake. Uh, so, Anfall, the one person who had picked himself to beat Snake, as obviously as his champion, the one person to pick Avi. <laughs> so, so it was oppression uh, in one case, maybe. They are getting going, by the way. That was quick. All right. Well, let's... Uh... See if we can get one more. The next one was while they're loading in Disco versus Darkhawk. Disco won 3 1. Free span from Disco and Darkhawk's Rogue Band. That was a Demon Hunter getting yeah. beat by uh, Warrior and yeah, what, Control, what, what, control oh. Shaman, mm -hmm. the, the Warrior, and then Highlander Mage. I like that spell Shaman list. I need to try that I out. Too. That looks cool. The fist and no one mana spell, so not going for reliquary, but um, just a whole bunch of other good stuff that uh, makes a lot of sense. Everything um, looks pretty good against Demon Hunter and Warrior of the Swords too. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Disco was the seven seed there, um, Dark Hawk ten. So not quite. Um, you know, I guess most people ended up picking Disco about two out of three people. Uh, and he'll be facing uh, up against, and as we're about to get into this last game, we're going against uh, Honest Zaid, who swept Quaz, which Ooh. I know Quaz went into that match um, probably expecting that, knowing how Quaz picks. He's like me. He never picks himself, <laughs> um, even though he did do pretty well last season in both leagues. But Honest Zaid, fantastic player, and uh, definitely a force to be reckoned with. It's actually my pick to win the whole thing. So, um, sorry. I'm oh, nice. Is. Yeah, good start for me. So who do we have on the bottom, Dante? Kuro. Kuro will be on the bottom, and Coles will be on the top. Uh, game has started here. So we will see the Demon Hunter, which was not banned, versus the Warrior. It was actually a Priest man. Coles cannot play his Priest, and the Druid for Kuro Finley. catch me! Which we will get, in, get that updated here in a second. So this matchup should favor the Warrior. It's one of the few decks that has a significant advantage over the Demon Hunter generally. So interesting how this ends up being the first game off the gate. I mean, you could usually put your opponent on plant bringing something like this game one, right? Like if the deck's just good and broken, you just jam it immediately sometimes. Right. Probably Cole's thinking going into game one here. Although his hand is very slow. Those had the skippers probably ends up just being a total beer. Um, just to put something in the way. Yep. Three life, but yeah, you're right. He's, he's really hurting on the cheap minions to pair with the skipper, so. Yep. No armor smith. Oh, nothing. 
at some point, uh, if he's able to get those roots down, he's going to be super happy. But uh, he's got to make it to that point. Fortunately, from the other side, um, nothing else to stick to the board for if they're going to wait for the next turn or two. Yeah. yeah. But I'll still just drop the skipper right away. So kind of a low value skipper, but maybe he felt like he just had to do something um, and hope that, uh, shockingly, the Demon Hunter wouldn't have an answer. But um, let's be real. The Demon Hunter always has an answer. Always. Okay. So I assume we're gonna I beam play one half for the twin slice. Kill the skipper, push four. Keep that, yeah. That thing going. Oh, the other half twin slice. We missed first half. Job done. Man. Could play Corklon just to kill the four one. Four yeah. Because in this matchup, you are not looking for yeah, the combo play, you're just looking to survive. So, playing it there makes a lot of sense, especially when Scrub Finway essentially misses this turn. And uh, misses this turn and still pushes 4 damage face, but um, <laughs> nothing on the board to deal with gives uh, Cole's a lifeline here to play the cash and drop a weapon right away. He's not playing. Ooh, the anchor. Tower. Probably the first one to hit. Yeah. I would think so, over the live wire. Yep, it's this is skipper too. Ooh. So currently has to drop the metamorphosis here, probably spend the mana, but no, uh, not developing, so. Mm, granted, probably not going to develop too much next turn either, probably just going to play the dormant minion. Danton. Picks up the Terran Gorfine. No eggs, nothing to combo with it. Um, might end up just being a Sky Raider, so you get. Nope. Go from there. Play both Sky Raiders. The Saber is not bad. Uh, yeah, the risk I think with playing the other Sky Raider is you run uh, into the possibility of not having a good combo with the cheap minions. Or yeah. it, but considering what. Kirkman has been flying, Ooh. I think he's probably okay. Uh, South Sea <laughs> Captain is very nice here. Uh, that's a big draw for Kirkman right here. Um, I think you still want to yeah, play the answer, but um, yeah, being able to have something to do next turn, potentially, if you get another yeah. cheap card. Start that train rolling. So, you're not getting anything else. I don't know if you necessarily want to swing it here. You probably do because you have another weapon and you just want to kind of get those weapon swings out of the way. Um, I can see him playing both pirates um, just to push a little extra damage, have a little extra health on board in case you see a priestess next turn. Yeah. Uh, what pirates to deal with it. does he have left? He shouldn't have anything left in the deck, I don't think. We've already seen him play one skip. Yeah. I guess he just really wants those brutes down. Cheap. Yeah. Um, this is gonna be cheap enough. No. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, it helps soak up a lot of damage too when the uh, the Anton flips. Mm -hmm. But this priestess should be able to clear up. Ooh. Ignore that the gives him a pretty good option here um, because if he plays Altruist. Yep. And it says runner and gets a one mana. Or even two mana. Do you see well, he wants the one mana card so he can oh, play yeah, so he... Demonic Blast, the 6 they 7. Will never catch me. So, or a zero. That's not it. So, now this makes it a little bit awkward. Probably. Just gonna Blade Dance just to clear the one. To kill the skipper. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Holes is out of skippers. So, out of the big combo. Gained a ton of armor. Okay, so you have the other run here to charge into something. Want it? You can play the brute. Um, run into the altruist and battle rage for three, which seems okay because that'll also eat up a lot of Try to start weaving in hero powers at this point. You do, but you also, because you're out of skippers, this might be the most cards you're going to get off of Battle Rage. That's true. So much rage. And then you finally get your armor set. 
There's a with the challenger in the We're most things. Not into the tens list. Yeah, he's actually running uh, two. Oh my goodness! Masters. This is just lethal. Yes, it is. Just play priestess, my dark blast face, or demonic blast face, and go to the next game. So the demon hunter wins the unfavored matchup because the demon hunter just wins. Just the yeah. unfavored matchups. Almost like we said that earlier. <laughs> just the demon hunter just demon hunter things. I mean, he basically missed three turns in the middle yeah. of the game there. Um, the other fair, was pretty bad. Cole's too. hand, yeah, was not the greatest. <laughs> right. Oh. Yeah, so it wasn't able to punish it. Um, never drawn the armor smith, having to skip her in less than ideal situations. Um, definitely, you definitely can't give anything away against a demon hunter, even if you're favored. Yep. It will take every chance you give them. So Rogue versus Warlock. And I believe this was the secret package. Let's have see. some fun. Oh no, this is Highlander Rogue. Yeah, so he's got versus the full suite of secrets Rock. and Hanar and Stunner. Um, he's also running um, not the full um, stealth package, but he does have a and he's running Maev, which isn't too common in the Highlander Rogue list. Mm -hmm. He's running Vendetta to go along with um, potential generated secrets as well as Dragon Sword and Pharaoh Cat. Um, so a couple different ways of generating the um, non-class cards as well as defense. Um, not the uh, Hinge Clan uh, Burglar. So yeah. he's, he's limited just to those uh, secrets, Dragon Sword and Pharaoh Cat. And then the Warlock list, um, pretty much standard Galakron. Yeah. Warlock. Uh, he is running Zephyrus, so you get to see your And running the Albatross. Running both Albatrosses, yeah. So yeah. that's interesting. It should match up pretty well here against the Highlander Rogue. To cut and out double the... ooze as well. Yeah. So that's a lot of weapon hate. <laughs> yeah. Um, against Warrior. All targeted against Warrior and Demon Hunter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not terrible against the Rogue. He can snipe the Galakron weapon. Although that's less likely with the Highlander list. Um, yeah. Running. No, he doesn't run into a maniac. So I've actually seen some Highlander rope list cut the maniac, so you only have three invokes. Um, but Coles is running all four. So there is a chance that that weapon is coming out from the Galakron. Yeah, most likely not, though. Most likely it's just a double upgrade, draw two for zero. Most likely, that, that is how most games go. For the, uh, they're happy with two cards off the Galakron. Get candle taker. Yeah, probably a middle of our option. Uh, yeah. The Reborn minions. Uh, I guess Warlock, um, eh, probably good enough in most cases. Just a nice body, an okay body. There is a couple bad Reborn minions. Definitely better than Generous Mummy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the one thing that. that. Every time what? I play Ferrocraft. Generous mummy. Like, oh, what okay. about the thought of getting the bad luck albatross out there on that turn to try and get the uh, you know the albatross in the deck? Yeah. That knowing your opponent's playing Highlander, I think that, that might have been you know a slightly better option with only only four damage on board here. Yeah, it's possible. I think that consideration there. One, you want to do that. Um, your invokes are good, knowing you already have Galakrond in hand. Um, being able to put the taunt up to just prevent a little extra damage and. The Albatrosses, um, they're good. Against the Rogue, you're only playing with Zephyrus and Alex. So if you haven't seen Zephyrus yet, you are probably not seeing it until much later. And obviously Alex isn't coming down towards 9, so you saw a little more time to get those Albatrosses in the deck. And less time for your opponent to draw them after you do, so um, I don't mind it. I'm waiting. Boom. Brains. Well, well I like that Devoted Maniac pick up quite a bit here. Yeah, when he ends up... Ignoring the 4 9 or trying to deal with it in some way. Um, he has 10 cards in hand, so he could clear it with the Dark Skies. He wouldn't necessarily have a play behind it. Um, dropping another shield makes some sense. Just put something out there. Dragon from the Albatross now makes sense. 
Um, depending on what you want to do with that back two mana. Do you want to play another back now? I think you're killing the Lackey, just to prevent the yeah, easy turn top six Togwaggle. But you it's could always feel bad. another breath as well. No, you're going to throw it into the... Okay, so you're just setting it up for a future kill. What? Didn't oh. attack with the demon at all. Didn't even... Hmm. What? Yeah, what's... Uh... I mean, he's he's not going to get immediately punished by the fact that there's no Togwaggle in hand right now, but I would imagine you want to put that somewhere. Yeah. If not, yeah. If not at least face. I wonder what the top, thought process is there, yeah. I wonder if it was just a, a forgot thing. I mean, it happens to the best of us, for sure. Is that why it's never happened to you, Dante? No, it literally happened to me today. <laughs> <laughs> and I was literally playing this deck when it happened. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, uh, I'm currently leveling up an Asia account to try and uh, get it, you know, to the point where I can play Masters, and, you know, uh, I, I've been on kind of autopilot just because, I'll be honest, I'm playing almost a full meta Galakrond deck, Galakrond Warlock, and there are really not a whole lot of decks that compete with that in the Apprentice yeah. ranks, and uh, I just kind of floated that attack and was like, oh, oops. Oh, well. So... Hmm... I mean, we're still three activations away from a fully invoked Galakrond here, and definitely can... playing one. So you can I agree maniac. Playing one of these. So you can maniac kill a one one, plague of flames, and left tap, and so, yeah, and tap all this time. Yeah, I think that's I think that's definitely. Oh well, I guess you can tap first if you really wanted to, but I don't think it would change your play. Not likely, and you may consider not tapping just because, but. I would generally think, I think he's in a good enough spot here health-wise, especially with the sack pack in hand that you do tap. Yeah. And you're really looking for, well, Nether Breath even makes you feel better, but I think you're really looking for the Veiled Worshipper. Like, if you had a Veiled Worshipper in hand, I say don't tap. You know, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree with that. Kind of. Did he throw the SI face? Does he dagger up and drop the Crocolisk? Yeah. Whatever this, yeah. Might not even be doing that once they save it. It should be noted that he has also got only, uh, you know, one invoke that is uh, Coles. So he's still a ways mm -hmm. behind on having a fully invoked Galakron. This is number three. Another yeah. rest Mortal Coil. And uh, also should be noted too that Albatross, uh, two Albatrosses still in the deck, means that it is not a non active Dragon Queen Albatross in hand. So there is a case to be made for just going out and Galakroning now, even though you're only getting one far as a Highlander row, you really can't afford to be greedy too often. Um, especially having drawing Cross, it just gives you that option. But ops to gonna yeah, SI eviscerate. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of uh, a lot of resources being used on a middling minion from a lot, so Especially when you're starting to go mobile and and really hoping to draw a second. Ooh. Big pickup. Big pick up. What a top deck! <laughs> I mean, especially if this activates the uh, Netherwing. I think you, I mean, you, you can draw the cards here and you still don't kill the Veiled Worshipper. So he's got Dark Skies, it looks like. Oh, and he gets squeezed in another tap. Genius. Yeah, that would be pretty bad, though. <laughs> Considering he'd be at 10 you cards. Got, you got Zephyrus and Galakron in hand. Tap. <laughs> Dirty tricks picked up for Coles. Yeah, I think it feels bad to Galakron here, but you might have to. Dark you definitely have to. You have no other play. You feel bad to play Kronks 6-mana 6-6. Six six. No, never play Kronks there. And of course, you draw the other invoke. Yeah, a little insult to injury. Why not? Ooh. So, no matter what he does here, he's got a crown to pull up this turn. Yeah, so he's setting up this turn, pull the invoke Galakron. Next turn, play Galakron. Next turn, play Alex. The standard Warlock lethal setup. I'm not always lethal, but. Uh, definitely on the routes to run your opponent, especially with the Zephyrson hand behind that. Coles I mean, does get to draw two cards, though. 
and, and irrespective of nothing else, there's just a whole lot of damage on board at the moment. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's I not mean, answered. It's just straight up lethal. Uh, Alex is the answer, though. Yeah, right. yeah. And Alex next turn with no removal here is uh, it's game. Which I mean, we we usually see the devoted maniac in hand, so Coles does have options. And uh, is that it's Sarah Kimmer Hanner? Yeah. Why you uh, Galakrond there with one of those? Because you're holding the cross to just give you that option. Yeah, so he had a, uh, you know, he had an easy easy clear there. But now he's got to figure out how to handle uh, the next turn. Okay, more totem or more uh, lackeys. Oh, yep. In the shadows. I like it. Yep, I definitely like that play as well. Yeah, knowing that Galakrond's coming down this turn, almost certainly. Well, Swampoos is uh, he's just a blood uh, bloodbend raptor the rest of this game. Think about another winning. It's a little yeah. passive to me, but... Yeah, I, I don't like holding back on a Galakron turn when you're. it's really hard to be punished on the other side. Like, we didn't see a whole lot of power out there. Um, yeah. and, and you want to get your Galakron online if you can. You know, and, and, and that was the spot Malagos. to do it. I mean, most so most of you are, here, are, but... are dormant minions as well, so... Kronks doesn't even, like, do too much on average. That definitely is a nice ace in the hole, but I mean, realistically, you don't want to be in that position. And by the time you get to that position, you're probably still gonna have more cards in hand than you want to get rid of. So, yeah. I mean, I guess the one positive I would say at this point is that uh, Coles is very far ahead in cards. He's got 15 left in his deck. Takuru's eight. So. If you're thinking, all right, I can definitely, uh, you know, definitely, and you're out of resources at that point, and I just win the game eventually, that could be part of the thought process there. Right. It's really tough to do as a rogue. You know how I'm in a rogue, but. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Okay. Alright, Alex next turn. I just got a disconnect. I don't know about you guys. Yeah. I'll see yeah, the same thing. Okay, just making sure. Uh, we'll have to see which player it is. Oh, we're we're back. We're back. Like. Six seconds. We're that's back all. Back and we're better than ever. T H O. Okay, so that's and going on the soundboard. Here. <laughs> that's going on the soundboard. That's being played at the beginning of every T H L stream forever. I'm down, bro. I I'm so down to just have my voice saying stupid things on T H L for. Life and hope are worth fighting. Oh. This timeline amuses me. We are friends now. Hello. I <laughs> absolutely love Brightwing. Just I wish Brightwing's risky. tongue moved more. Wow. Body design flaw. Man, crew friend anyway, playing with fire, leaving up minions, knowing a Kronx is in hand, knowing this is a Highlander, I guess, who still think the Albatrosses are in the deck, so maybe you're not so afraid of that first, but, man. So there's, what, there's eight 16. on board right now. Yeah, it's 16, 16 total. damage. Right. We know there's no more Eviscerate, so yeah, so that does take that away, at least. Yeah, but he has a ton of Lackey generates he's, he's game got, two. He's got 20 damage if he plays that Lackey. I mean, he he, if he, he capped for a lackey. Hit cobalt this turn. Exactly. He won, he won oh, yeah. he, no, he didn't even need to hit a cobalt. He could hit a rush lackey. He oh yeah, a rush lackey too. Yeah. Even just another like even spell lackey maybe into a eviscerate. I mean, for all yeah, for all uh, Kuru knows oh, of outs. course, but yeah, the the yeah, yeah. eviscerate's already gone. Well, I'm saying it's spell. Oh, lackey oh I'm sorry. You said spell, and I, I for some reason my brain thought spell damage, which isn't even a lackey. So you know. Oh. <laughs> Yet. You don't know. Yeah, I'm just I'm designing Hearthstone ahead of time. Just a little farther off. Lethal, I think he was missing one. Oh, it was 16, not 18. You're right. Yep. But still, I mean, it's close enough that that's a risky play by Griffin. Yeah, so we're going to Dark Skies, Galakrond. If he doesn't Galakron here, I don't know when he ever intends to. I'm going to throw my heads up if he didn't. Across the 
absolutely. These are garbage. <laughs> okay, so you know he's got the the satyr, which is going to generate. Does Pig Commander another. pull anything? No, right? Uh, I would I would imagine it does not. We are with you. Uh, Artificer, if he had it in his deck, oh, yeah, he does. No. Then no. All right then. So you don't have an active Alex. Uh, you, you do have, have any, a bamboozle plus hammer. Yep, so here comes some secret plays. You really can also, yeah, you can also blackjack stun or something here. Right, yeah. So that pick commander... Is coming down on the 7-9. Yeah, that's never getting played again. Probably. You know, it's a little expensive. It's no, a it cost no, it costs two it's more. It's going to cost 11. It's impossible to play. <laughs> it's never getting played. So, no, 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 sorry. I'm, I'm talking the other side looking at the... Oh, oh so The pick commander oh. is literally unplayable. Right. That's correct. I just need ice berry over... Or something. It makes sense to get some armor. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Ooh, I like never oh, surrender. wow. Just a snap pick to get another one. And a flame ward is an interesting. Actually, Think flame ward or ambush. Flip. Yeah, flame ward or ambush, yeah. but yeah, I can see a case for either of those. Especially knowing that Alex is still in, you know, in hand for all you know, but it's certainly, uh, you know, you want to be able to handle something big. Right. Though he goes to flame ward. Yeah, the one downside with Never Surrender against the Warlock is a lot of times that spell is going to be played in blank and it doesn't matter what your main yeah. is. I mean, he's out of Dark Skies, right? So. Flare. Oh, Flare. That's mean. Flare. Yeah. Weak, but mean. He could have taken. Secrets, he could have taken the Inner Demon if he had thought maybe that was not a uh, ice barrier. Wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. Does he still have it though? Seven. He's, he's seven damage. Doesn't have another breath. Not quite. Nope, not there yet. But I, I guess, like, my thought there would be, if you had tested for Ice Barrier first with the 2-1, and then you found out that it was an Ice Barrier, you take Inner Demon there and you win the game. Right. So he's going to lead up the Hunter? Well, I guess you don't, you don't necessarily win the game. Yeah, if it's Counterspell, you... You Sack Pack yeah, first. Mm. Oh, yeah. Sack, you yeah, you Sack Pack your own one. You know, there are ways around that for oh, sure. Yeah. Nah. Are we almost to Deathwing time? Uh, well, I think we are. Sap doesn't do any good. Sap. No. And you can, but. And Dragon yeah. Queen's just an 8 8, so. Yeah, I think you Deathwing here. It feels I mean, bad, but what else do you do? What, what kills you? Second plague, yeah, I guess. Right? I think so, yeah. Yeah, that is a second plague. Second plague has been played too. Uh, Two of the full breaths have been played, so there's no direct damage anymore. So he's got to draw. He's, he's only got three cards left. In his, yeah, he's got to stick. A, he's got to stick a board here. I mean, he can draw his entire deck from here if he wants to, with Veiled Worshipper. He's got to. left. He's got an ooze and albatross. He doesn't have an ooze left. He's played both oozes. Oh, he did. Play. Oh, that's me. Uh, he's got a he's got a cross so. There it is. Cronks equals five damage equals yeah, win. Yeah, that's lethal. <laughs> Nine. Yeah, the only play Cole's had, but at the same time, it just was not enough. Galcon Warlock, so good. You know, there are a lot of people out there who's, who think it's not a good deck. They're wrong. I mean, I certainly agree with you. <laughs> yeah, I think it's interesting because obviously there's a lot of hype with it right away because of the sack. And the fact that Demon Hunter was 80% of the latter. So, you know, yeah. it felt really strong then. But um, I think the counter argument as to why it is or isn't strong was based on the fact that it really wasn't that strong compared to other Galakon decks towards the end of the last meta. And so right. the, sure. the other thing is then a whole lot of cards rotated out, but Galakon didn't really lose anything. So it maintained the power of a lot of other decks got a lot weaker. So I mean, is it worse than it was before the nerfs? Yes. Is it a bad deck? Far from it. Right. So this looks like this is a full-on Galakron yep. priest. Yep. So this deck is... He's running Artificers in his deck. Yeah, this deck is almost card for card the same priest that I brought with um, an extra Plague of Death and Ooze. I love the Shadow Madness. One shot of Madness. All right. Donde, let's play A and I sequels. Let's play a game. What will be the first non-golden card Kuru draws? <laughs> I just noticed the coin. Um, Galakrond. 
You think Galakrond before some other card? I do. Icicles, what do you think? Let's let's play the game. Full Paris Scoundrel. Ooh. All right. I was actually thinking it was going to be a random penance. <laughs> that is quite the call. Cole does random, have the gold, the gold deck swag, though. <laughs> Cole's even sprung for that golden Galakrond up top there. So, oh, it's a small oh. We saw that last. We saw that last game. We should have known. We should have known. No, it's a different deck, you fools. Oh, you're yeah, right. Never mind. He's still it's... running. It's, <laughs> there's still the same swappers as in his collection. Oh, man. When you're going on hour three of the stream, it's... Uh, you're fools. Th things start getting good. a little wonky. I'm always wonky. So I think overall, the rogue is um, heavily favored in this matchup. I granted, the Galar Conference has a little bit of a... Hmm. Better time against rogues than uh, typical res priest, but I mean, realistically, the rogue's gonna be able to do almost anything at once, and the priest needs some pretty ridiculous value uh, generated from either thought steal yeah. or the invokes or hey, something. Hey, Pulper Scout is actually gold. I would have known. Yeah. Maybe it's time to spring for that uh, that golden ooze. You just gotta grind lots of card. <laughs> you know what it is? He probably had um, other cards in there that weren't ooze, and he teched the oozes in for this tournament. And, oh, like last uh, second? Yeah, and so the oozes are not gold, but whatever he had in the deck previously was gold, because everything else looks pretty golden to me. I'm still <laughs> betting on a one random non-gold pendant. Definitely possible. Because that's how some of my golden decks are. It's just a random common card. I'm like, why? I've never Those made a, a viable all-golden deck. Like, uh, you know, I, I mean, I've made all-golden decks, but then they're just trash cards. If you see me bring Druid to anything... Just know the deck is golden. That's me with Mage. I always craft golden Mage cards right away and waste dust on. Hey, hey look at that Face Stalker. Face Stalker can pull a, pull a secret or three. Yes, I love man. that it's not one or two, it's one or three. <laughs> and in this case, it's going to be zero. Do this shot on that. Unfortunately. Yeah, you're wrong, John Day. Take that. Listen, I was just hoping that somebody played Face Stalker with an actual purpose. <laughs> Oh! Oh my wow. God! Oh. He pulled the Galakrond. Wow! That's a way for Priest to win. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say we, we're talking about Priest needing the crazy God. pulls, and they, he's already pulled Tiamat. Now he's pulled the Galakrond. Oh my goodness! And now he's got Crocs as well. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so you're running. Six invokes. You got the one mana minion. You got shield, and you got, you got time two time rips. So uh, you definitely can get this. Uh, Does this rogue upgrade Galakron. the oh, other one? Or, what's that? Does it upgrade both Galakrons? It will upgrade both Galakrons. Yes. So my uh, uh, so this has invoked twice. My Hearthstone just crashed because he's oh, invoked perfect. twice. No, 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 he just time ripped with this Galakron in hand, and still says invoke twice to upgrade. Um, because he's got. Oh no, because uh, I already did. Oh, right. it counted. So it counted the previous Galakron invoke. Right. So it's just a. It's like Cthulhu. It just oh happens. Gosh. So just for the play-by-play, -play, as Dante gets his Re reloading right now. I apologize for uh, for yeah, the technical so the Use the uh, top waggle, draw three free, proceed a spy mistress, uh, see Ooh. him at. And Hold on! Don't say Edwin. the last card. Don't say the last card. <laughs> Dante, what do you think the last free card was? You might have heard me say it, but maybe he didn't. I didn't hear him say it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, perfect. You, was it the other Galatron? No, 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 no. In Coles, Coles drew three cards for zero. What do you think his last oh, three card was? No. Think about it. Why would I specifically want you to guess, Dante? Because zero mana. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's Edwin. <laughs> well played. Do you know how big the Edwin is? Uh, it's, uh, 10-10. Oh, what a draw. Is that because you're in, or you actually guessed that? I saw it. I saw it getting played as I came in. Okay. <laughs> the soul mirror. No, that's, that's not a holy mackerel, that's a soul mirror. Holy mackerel's only in battle rounds. <laughs> is there actually a holy mackerel in battle rounds? Yeah. Is that really a thing? That's a six, it's a six tier minion. Oh my god. Uh, that makes me, I guess, happier. I don't know. I'm, I'm conflicted. I just want him to play this Galakron, and Cole's just spam emotes after he gets Galakron by his own Galakron. It's gonna be pretty great. <laughs> no, 
surprisingly, the priest deck does not run too many expensive cards. I mean, compared to the rogue, it does. But what if he draws his other Galakron with this guy? Three it would be fantastic. Oh, because I, I think long term. But one, you're gonna would get you say it would be absurd it would if be he drew it? Absurd. It would be Galakronception. So here's the way the priest wins: you get fully invoked Galakron, play the rogue, swing twice. Play the other fully invoked Galakron, swing twice. Rogue's not healing. Just kill him. So, are you actually hoping we see melee priest? Yes. Uh, hope we see melee priest. You also need to see melee priest when you're playing as demon hunter. Get a lot of weapons. That's pretty fun. Ooh. Fun fact: uh, in in World of Warcraft, the original priest character actually had a melee spec before it uh, before release. That does not compute. Hey, Dante. I don't know if you guys are, are WoW players or, or care. I'm gonna I'm let you know. No one asked. <laughs> hey, listen. I'm just here to I'm just here to to bring info, regardless of exactly how useful it is. Do you work for Blizzard, bro? Not really yet, not. but uh, I mean, they can, they can they can they can hate mail. Sent yeah, it. it just hates Edwin so much. Blizzard will never hire. It's pretty nice, uh, Alex listen. here. Yeah. Being a thug, meh. For more explorers, not bad though. I mean, the Nethrog's actually. Oh! Alex. Wow. The Nethrog's pretty good because these eggs are most likely trying to get a full force. And he, even if they absorb, like uh, even if they absorb the mm. Galakrond of you know Kurafinwis, that I think might we're about to see Galakrond. Yeah. Yeah. Plague of one. Death. Plague of Death. The Plague of Death needs. Come on, Cole, spam it. Double Holy Nova. Holy Nova. Nova. Penance. No. It's not gold. It's golden though. So this it's does not. clear everything except the five five. So play the Holy Nova, hit everything four, and then penance the eight eight. So it does do a pretty good job of keeping yeah. the game. What Kuru is gonna cry here in about I don't know twenty seconds? It is the second Alex. Yeah. <laughs> Life and hope. Shout out to uh, Shiny Pants for opening that uh, Ankar. Get, get oh yeah, get the pattern. Pattern. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about, Dante? And then you I saw it, you know. <laughs> Dante's not even watching this game right now. He's actually just sitting just watching the cool yeah. I I listen, I demoted hey, myself I demoted myself to oh. mostly stream up for most of this, so I'm just kinda along for the ride and you know, enjoying you guys at this point. Alright, guys, we found lethal. We drop Malagos next turn. Kill him. Somehow. Well, one of us, right? <laughs> hey, I mean, the seal fate is active because the preset full life at the moment. Oh, does he have seal fate in hand? <gasps> oh my god! Wow, this switched. Oh man, I think that really hurts. It switched him to rogue, so the Volterra scoundrel does not give him a chance for any of the cool priest AOE. Instead, he's stuck with. Oh, and he got a so. random shadow of death. Oh, well, he doesn't want to use it on uh, the Alexstrasza because then he's got duplicates. So you're you're using it on Skull Dragon. That's but... got to be it. Yeah, man. Still kind of hurts. Because Priest, I mean, you're still, even with the, I think it was a little bit of rogue cards, you're not, you're not drawing much, so. Darkness it's pretty hard to get these Shadow Deaths out. Coles, I know you can't right. hear me. But I really need you just to slam this Malagos. I don't think he's going to do that. I need him to. So he's got 17 on board, looking at 35 health. The Zephyrus in hand, he's got a very weak Galakron. Um, so he'll a little bit. He's going to still fade a minion. Oh. Probably oh, cool. the screen after playing something else. He's got an Eviscerate. Oh. That's okay, it's probably going to go Fine. Okay. Really banking on the fact that he hasn't seen a play like that, so. Um, I mean, you think you would have seen it. A... Hey, Sinister Strike. With the yes. Malagos hands. Like Malagos, you might get your yes. wish. Yes. He did it. Cole sees the line. Cole sees the line. You should have just slammed the Mally this turn, but I'm okay with this. No! Oh! Rip your dreams, Boo. but yeah, you wanted to make sure you had hand space for the dragon. Boo. Which is a Calicos! Oh my oh goodness. Oh my gosh. Gets the dragon. And not much else. So, how much can you clear here? 
Um, get rid of the 8-8 eight, eight and get rid of... Well, you can Kronx to get rid of the the everything, except for the 5-7-4-6, no. right? You might end up playing Kronx for the 8-8 eight, eight instead. Potentially. It's draw, it, wow! It draws in the other Galakron and does the invoke spell. That's disgusting. I had not seen that before, but I am super happy about it. This might end up being a rusher on the board. Yeah, I was going to say just reborn as a 4 9 and then play ambush. That makes sense to me. Or even evil conscriptor, but I like ambush better. And so I need, only needs one more invoke to get the um, full priest effect, which actually is going to be relevant against the road that will often have a lot of means on the board. Yep. Caligos. Let's see it. It won't be good, but I just want to see it. Does he have any secrets in hand? He has bamboozle, so this could yeah, be a hot. He might just go. He might just go crazy here with secrets. Because you really want to count spell. You fell right into my trap. The one thing that the um, yeah. first deck doesn't go. have too many spells. Surrender Never surrender like and hope to play is probably. Never surrender gives you more juice here because it costs less. Yeah. Right. Mm. Can't take bamboo. Pressure plate then. The mirror entity shuts off the CMOT as an option. How much is this worth to you? Yeah, Stop. Yeah. Okay, he's gonna go ahead and take out the two three. Yeah. Give himself one more dragon. Yep. Oh, is that Sarah! My goodness. Yeah, Sarah, the unleashed version. Oh, and the other dragon. dragon. This man just got like the whole dragon flight. So he's got thirteen on the board. You can kill those two minions with the Galakron and put. Uh, rogue down to five, which, which seems nice. I have no healing, yeah. I'm pulling over to follow up. I think he has another artificer left in the deck, so. Well, Holy Nova doesn't go face no more. Oh, yeah, that's right. That was the trade off. So you can hero and power and then play Kitsuki. I don't want to do it to the minions anyway. So I was wrong on both sides of that. The brain is shut down. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one. Very good one. Wow. Down. Does Curry just does Curry just win here? Well, Calicos, uh so Rob gets you rogue spells. Oh yeah, Zephyrus. Oh, yeah. He's got so many golden cards, hard to tell. Yeah, Calicos would be um, See look. Rogue cards. Y'all facing lethal? He's a Tyrion. <laughs> 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 Always Tyrion. <laughs> Oh. So I kind of like. Um, yeah, you probably start with cleric here, right? Yeah, I, just, well, I think he's gonna use your dragon, either... <gasps> dragon queen good, dragon or Mirazond. I. Ooh. That's right, queen. I mean, it's oh, dragon queen act. Surprised he didn't go with the um, CMAT, but um, this is probably a renew. No, he's gonna finally get a spike of death just to have it. Play the fell wing. Okay. Play wing. Yeah, just put out a whole bunch of stuff. Yep. I think, that's the, I think that's the right call here. Uh, we, we know the rogue's going to have trouble dealing with a uh, wide board, even with small stuff. Yeah. I mean, he did just use his only real mass removal. Yeah, well, Flick, Flick can hit it. It can, but... Might have some option as well. Uh, put something out of commission. Hmm. No, I think, I think he wants to play the Galakron, um, but then you don't have a direct way of dealing with 5-6, so at well, least not guaranteed. Flick makes sense. Flick and the... Maybe a combo. Ambush? Pressure play? Yeah. Or are we attacking somebody with Dagger? Dagger. Just in case, I guess he's thinking with the bot steals, because uh, see him at his... Uh, the Discovery CMAT's off of uh, Galakron. Right. Oh yeah, I guess you could still get a... Uh, so he's thinking it might be Talk Wobble, Wobble. potentially. Yeah. Keep the Lackey off the board. 
So Dragon Queen's not active. Um, Point Nova does extra damage, which is then offset by the Never Surrender. So he could follow it up with the Breath of the Infinite, or he could just steam at um, maybe well, Fury. You assume one of these is Bamboozle, right? Uh, yeah, for sure. Because um, you've played Spell that hasn't triggered, so you know that the other two options are Ambush and Bamboozle. Hey, new priest card. New old priest card, I guess. It's a classic now. <laughs> Dark in the skies. Over the round one of ours. Sap. Sap's fine. Uh, three one mana minions. Not what you're looking for. You want the secrets down, which is nice, but. It's starting to hurt. You're going to need something good off the Scalagos. I need it to stick. Akala. Decent. I think everything else just kind of waits. Alright, both penises were gold. I was wrong. In fairness, Galapron was gold too, so I was wrong. It's true, yeah. We were all wrong. Those darn oozes. So I think the duplicate left in Griffinway's deck is Renew. Because I don't think he's played one yet, and we saw one of the collective scales, so we know it's still in the deck. Yeah. Correct, he has not played one yet. Man. Hero power button? See him at, probably? Yeah. I mean, oh. So he doesn't want the bigger combo coming out. Hmm. I guess, uh, I mean, you can always handle it later with the yeah. uh, Plague of Death if you really want to. So. But. It's Still just, got it, another Plague of Death. It just yeah. it, it allows Coles to have a free turn here, where he has no board to contend with, and uh, wow, uh, those are some choices. Cargath seems very good. Cargath, I mean, it's really his only chance of healing. It's you know a ways off, <laughs> but it's uh, it's I mean, a chance. He's only he only really has two cards in his deck, so that, that prime's coming back very quickly. It's very likely, yeah. The problem is he's um, oh, Fenway is dealing Jesus. with however many portals come out. But right now he doesn't have the answer. You get the portal in hand. <laughs> that's crazy. Don't think I've think. ever seen that before. Yeah, that stinks. Something you do with it. Yeah. Now playing it for nine, almost ever. Again. And that's not pretty You want it to stage the game. Well, these dream portals are going to start taking over. And another one. Not a badge. Not a. Oh, only one. That's not what he was hoping for. Okay, so. All but one card left in his deck is portals. That's right. Oh, Murloc value. Yeah, play more Murlocs. Figure it out. Another <laughs> <laughs> tonic. Oh, there you, Sarah. I mean, it's how much value does he need? How much value does he need? <laughs> All. Is the last card in his deck backstab? I've seen a backstab yet. Yeah. Uh, We've seen a backstab. We right. have seen a backstab. It is Pharaoh Cat, right? We have not. Nope, we've seen Pharaoh Cat. Oh, that's right. So oh, yeah, because it's good. Mm -hmm. Did we? We sure did. What did Pharaoh Cat get? Uh, oh, Bone yeah. Wraith. Wait, we haven't seen. Um, I haven't seen Coles. So she might have. Shield, Shield of Galakrond. Oh really? Okay, that's right. Cause he, yeah, he was slow on the invokes. And... So I'm, I'm looking through the 38 cards on the left side of my screen to try and figure it out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all the extra garbage coming through. Submit, heretic. Huh? I've never heard that voice line before. Job's done. I mean, why would you? That's true. So this is gonna be potentially pretty bad here. All right, He's draw a shield. Burn a oh, what a god. Wow. He pulled it wow. to the last five portals. <laughs> man, man, Brushy, you should just you should just ask for more things, I think. Because you apparently well, just get them. It might not exactly. be five more portals, because he's gonna shuffle the car guy back in his deck, most likely. Alright, so this is gonna happen. Next turn he's gonna hit three portals and then draw 
Cat well, that's I mean that's the right strategy because you want to stagger the threats at this point, knowing yeah. that you know you got to keep you got to keep board. Yeah, it's this is I think this is the right play. I mean everything has to die. There's you can't leave anything up. Right, three portals and then he draws prime. That is next turn. I mean, do you want to shield the Galakron here just to put something on board? You know, put put something in the way. I don't think this so. The max. Oh, oh the you, you know you're gonna. Oh, because you know you're gonna draw probably a good amount of portals, right? Yeah, that plague of death is a good draw. Then, he, and obviously, Coles knows that that second plague of death is either you know it's, it's somewhere. It's not necessarily in hand, but uh, yeah. And if it's you're crew, you're definitely holding it for. Oh, wow. That actually might be the I'm, best draw. I say that yeah. being said, this is gonna get him ten armor. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know. I just wanted the three portals and then the car graph. And and with it being on board, it's not gonna die this turn. It's gotta be. It's gotta be handled by Plague of Death, or this game gets out of hand for Kuru real quick. The, uh, oh, does he rainbow. not play it? Does he not play it here? Oh, what? That's surprising. I think. So I it, think he it, just it gotta. Only, it only gets armor when it kills a minion. So if there's no minion on the board and it goes face, yeah, it's take ten. Probably yeah. still not. But, but I mean yeah. you're heal you're healing for ten right now, you wanna heal for ten. And he's clearing off minions to open up space for the portals. Yeah. So now if you're Kuru, you're taking so fifteen next turn now. if you don't clear. I think you do, right? I mean the problem is the bamboozle. Cause yeah. yeah, I mean you know well you know he's gonna hit all these portals. Right, all five of these portals are coming out. Right. So. So you maybe just throw up a taunt. Yeah. Interesting mm -hmm. too. Find shield taunt. Yeah, seen the sap. Yeah. You know he's he's got to have it. So he went for the okay. So for a good bamboozle, I guess. Ooh, bamboozle. That's, all right, don't say it's a ten okay. man. We figured it out. So he should have held the um, breath of infinite until after. Yep. So all the portals will come out this turn. Oh, oh rush. That's a good one. Or above average. Oh, that's a big one. I mean, this is just the play potter, so. Yeah. Ooh. I mean, pound for pound, that was one of the better portal draws Definitely. you can get. I mean, Definitely like you said, it, yeah. it, unfortunate that Plague of Death is just going to immediately nuke that, but hey, you know, at least we get to see it. Is Cole still dead? I mean, does he want to Shadow Step? Ooh. Shadow Step the Amber Watcher, maybe? It's a good idea. Does he have Shadow Step? Oh yeah, there it is. Like that's that's eight more, you know. That's a couple turns. Yeah. Nope. He's not going to trade it off. So it takes two. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. I mean, the Hench Clan Shade Quill that's in hand right now is unplayable for Kuru. You don't want to yeah. heal your opponent. You're gonna get a couple of renews coming back soon. Oh, so you're gonna oh, you dorm in the twelve twelve. Oh, that is actually really good. What a play! Boys. Way to be smarter than everyone here. <laughs> Man, play that stuff coming out. That's but, my one seed. Yeah. That's my one seed. He's gonna carry you. Don't, please don't say that because he'll listen to that and then he'll bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> Coles, have fun carrying down day. <sighs> Hope you watch the VOD later. Play Mally. So assuming that Kurgrimly does no additional Play. damage. No! I mean, where does Calicos go? He does he's oh, not Sprint. You have to take Play of Madness. <laughs> Shiv! No take Shiv! No, you can't draw a card. Uh you're right. I mean no, you know, you, you wanna be <laughs> if you really wanna wanna stick it to him, but See this is why we should have played Mally this turn. Calicos next turn. So Alex is finally active. Yep. I mean, you could have, you could, if he had gotten like Eviscerate or something, he could play Mally, or he could play Mally and then Eviscerate for free next turn anyway. Take Ruin. Ruin is right. 
And I'm sure if I see Alex. Good ordering to play Alex uh, after the renew. It's always pressure fight. Job done. And he's back. He's not long for this world, but he is back. Still getting pretty dire here. And yeah, Blackjack Stunner that away. And uh, yep, it never gets played again. Unplayable. Oh no, it can. He's got Fate Weaver. Oh. Yeah, you're right. I mean, by that time, he holds his deck of fatigue, but yeah. Let's see. Okay. Oh. oh, the dragon. Forgot about the dragon. And it doesn't die from ruin. Nope. All right, so it's no good. Uh, renew to give him inner fire. Hello, oh, this is gonna hurt. Hit the three six. Hit the three six. Psyche split is not bad. Yeah, if the four nine lives, you can't play it um, with the ruin, but hit the three six. He might end up taking my vision here instead. Yeah. What if? Three six. Oh, he did not live. Wow. So we almost have to play ruin here. Um, kill the big stuff. Look at six coming on back. And then the daggers two, the cobalt's two, ten. And you're taking one from fatigue, or you're taking two from fatigue. Uh, taking one from fatigue. And Coles is on a two-turn yep. clock here now. Assuming he takes no damage, so he has to so... probably sap the three six. Yeah, sap three six, kill the one one. So what are we doing from there? Gonna have plain shield. I mean, he's gonna probably find a lackey first. He can shadow step the kobold, get a little extra damage. So he's got what six about, damage in hand for sure. What about rolling Ysera for a uh, possible, possible double kill? Uh, I think he's oh. gonna pretty Ooh, close. Shadow step, all right. All right. So he goes six. He can only put a dagger. Four. He gives the dagger back to Griffin, yeah. and he's dead. No, okay, so if he lackeys into the ethereal, gets eviscerate, plays the dagger, he wins the game. Oh, rip! Just say, I was just saying it was it was possible. I know. <laughs> I guess sinister strike would have gotten there too. All right. So we're hoping Deathwing off this Alex. Yep. Can we play Alex? I'd like to remind everyone this is game three. Life and Kuru is up 2 0. Mirror's oh. on! Mirror's on. I it doesn't do anything. I think. Yeah, uh, doing it anything puts really. a shield. It puts a shield to Galakron. It, the shield dies to what's on board and then. He's dead oh, a shadow step. There's a shadow step. Yeah. Well, he can't replay it, so. The sap is relevant. Doesn't oh, hit. No. Not enough. So that will do it for Coles. I Barely. I do not know how we got how how he got through this game. <laughs> I, it it, it did crazy. not look off. I mean, so I, I will say from experience. Obviously, I had uh, you know a road game against CMAC on stream a couple weeks ago where I did nuts things and somehow lived through it all. And uh, it, you know it's it's possible. Like Rogue just comes out of nowhere sometimes. No, play the Mally. Please, Coles. No! I, Coles. I hope you no longer carry Dante. You're dead to me. He will be disappointed. <laughs> it's upsetting. Just play the Mally, man. Boy, I hope everybody was expecting to get some really early Saturday Hearthstone, because that's where we're at now on the East Coast. <laughs> it's, Welcome been, to Saturday. Yeah, we've been streaming since 9, and it is now it the is. next day. April 25th, for all those who's still with us. 
Druid comes out for Vols. The light shall bring so Coles has the spell Druid running both not sellers and Kale. Obviously Kale. Yeah. Not sellers, both being there. Uh, he's running a claw, interestingly enough. Probably a little bit of an anti demon attack. I like it. Who I saw in Top High Legend doing that the other day, so. Mm -hmm. So he's not running Savage It wasn't Coles, I can tell you that. Coles, I can Yeah. Alright, so some other notes about the Coles. Of course, no Savage Roar. Uh, no no roll. Savage Roar? Right, so no buffs really of note except for Gift of the Wild, and he's not running the Forest Tade. So he's reliant on the Mount Sellers, the Chief Spell, and the Blue Eyes Form to build his boards. Huh. Um, and then the only. I mean, the only support for that is then Forest and Gets of the Wild. So um, that makes it tricky against the Priest because you really want to have that one board stick and then burst down. But Priest has so many ways of clearing boards that not having a Forest aid might give Curvin away the option to just run um, run them out of resources. So the Plague of Deaths has to get saved, most likely for yep. the Mouse Nova's turns. Um, and then just line up the Holy Nova's Breath of the Wild, or Breath of the Infinite, against. The uh, the bugs and the soul force. It's crazy. No buffs. Of, wow. Uh, Cole's, a, Cole's opted to hold on to uh, the coin, which I like, especially having Kale in hand. Not not. Oh, he's both Kale around. and Exotic Mount Seller, so. Oh, of course. Yeah, I mean, he's got. I mean, the, the Mount Seller came after, but yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I'm just saying, like, of your three minions. It's like it's also pretty good pickup off the Chili Alakran. Because you haven't played anything else, so that's what you're getting back. So he could kale glow form this turn? This is pr probably. So the choice, I think, comes down to um, the mouse alert turn uh, with a couple spells or mm. just dropping a glow fly. Uh, probably glow fly, you almost certainly get that cleared. So yeah. you're just eating, a, eating one of the AoEs. Um, you can see in Curve Penway's hand, he's got multiple AoEs. So he's he's happy right now. So the mouse alert presents a harder threat for Urban Way to deal with. Um, I mean, got the time rip, so... Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and not you're, you're not really getting a lot of good use out of spells. Bobby yeah. can clear the 4-5, the coin doesn't give you the option to play anything else, so um, opting to just kind of yep, take it slow. Up for, set up for next turn. And that's one good thing with um, the Druid here is you're not in a rush. So, you know, the longer it goes, the chance to freeze to draw those AoEs, but at the same time, you can also give yourself the best chance to build the best possible board. And that sweet spot is getting the Mount Solar turned down. Priest can um, play by the death. Yep. Oh, I think, yeah, I think you just Mount Solar now this turn. Right. Absolutely. 100%. I supply and now he can also kill that uh, ooze to get that into the res pool. Right. Which typically isn't that relevant for oh. Galakrond Priest, but it does actually matter here because of the Cycle Bomb. Just one damage draw a card? Oh, we're going to go for three. Oh! Guess it would have been better to get the, get the draw. I think you always draw there, right? I don't know. Well, in that case in particular, draw. it was better because of the, uh, you know, the resulting beast. Well, I'm just saying, like, in general, isn't it always better just to do the one damage draw a card? Because you're not killing it anyway, yeah. I yeah. Agree. Because well. you like yeah. that's your only chance of killing it anyways. Is the so this ended up working out very poorly for Coles. Um, yeah, his his time rip into Moonfire Penance or into Breath of the Infinite. You probably don't want to use the Breath. Here. Honestly, you could probably just leave him up, right? Um, yeah, knowing that there's no um, there's no buffs really. Yeah. So what? Are we gonna Penance? Penance. Breath. Breath. That's a lot of investment for that. Breath. I mean, with only one minion there being really crucial, yeah, I yeah. think the uh, I think the the smoother play would have been the time rep. Uh, it does present a challenge. So. Draw um, three. Probably just play two three twos. You could also draw five if you want to. You could, but I don't How curious. want to. You're know, seeing what Kirkman really just did to clear the mouse lever using yeah. both passes. I mean, this kind so, of and the breath. Wants, yeah, it makes Coles want to maybe Kale, Rising Winds. Oh, yeah, I guess you could do. And then maybe Nurse, just to yeah. get more resources. So you draw a card off this then? 
Yeah. Yep. Ooh, nice draw. You like that? And so that gives them a kind of a better option. But I think I think right. no matter what you nourish here. Yeah, card. nourish is definitely the freebie. Yeah. You're not getting full glow fly. Uh, we need value. one more freebie. Come on. Nope. Yeah. Yep. So we can glowify this turn if we want. Uh, again, still not not ideal, I think, because you're about to, you know, yeah, you're about draw to draw a couple three. cards. Oh, okay. We're rising wind instead of drawing three. Okay. Yeah, so good. Got a long time to play the Fumble Fortune. Wow. Kill the not seller. Yeah. <laughs> it's also good that he didn't uh, Iron Bark. Yeah, so the, the use of resources last turn now hurts a bit because you don't have the mana to Time Rip and Holy Nova. Um, you almost certainly have to Time Rip here and yeah. just eat the... Eat? No, you're going to leave Kill. Okay. I guess you're, you have the Plague of Death, so no matter what he does next turn, um, oh yeah, that's true. All, and you're not in danger, so you use nice. the Res Bull is relevant. And uh, it's now golden. It's now golden, finally. It, is, it ascended. Finally. So... I think he Ooh, was kind of thinking like, maybe Ooh. Overgrow to get the free spell Ooh. and the wait a turn. Only the finest uh, I don't like this Mount Teller at all. Well, it's going to get punished pretty heavily on the turn, and you almost yeah. have to expect that to happen. And then coming behind, the only thing you're going to have left um, is for glow any flies. is glow fly into the one soul of course that you have. So it's going to be in a tough spot. Yeah. Really okay. not being good beast either. Uh, not that it really matters this turn, but uh, yeah, fortunate. So. This probably ends up being uh, five demons for a while. Yeah. Did he even fire his own? Yeah, I guess he did. He did. He's cycling beast. Hey, it's a six or. That's not terrible. Six or is okay. It's yeah, a plague of death. Pretty bad against yeah. plague of death. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunate. I mean, you, you have to do that because you you yeah. you kind of in a position where you make him have it. If he has it, then so be it. But if not, then he almost certainly win. I mean, he does have the follow up with the Glowfly, so he's not dead in the water. Right. Yeah. So he'd love to pair it up with Soul breath. of the Forest. So we start off with Fungals? Maybe? No? It's gonna make him have the next one. Yeah, you can't, you can't play Fungals at this point. You only have four cards left. So. I was thinking just go for the. Right, his Soul of Forest in this list? He has one yeah. Soul of the Forest, yeah. Again. I would he think that'd be the only reason, right? Go for that. I mean, this is his it's... last board fill right here. We've seen both Mount yeah. Sellers. He seems full swarm. So if he loses, if oh, he loses his board, this game is over. I mean, Coles is out of buffs. He only has the one gift. Right. This, this is it. This is this is all of Coles' damage for the rest of the game. Yeah, board has to stay clear. Everything has to go face. So he needs this whole horse right now. Yeah. He knows it. He knows it. Oh, there, and there it is. is. All right. Yeah, two damage, kill the one, two. Uh, I, I don't see any reason to hold it back at this point. I guess you could heal yourself for five, but ultimately, that's not gonna matter. Why do you okay. care? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think if, if, if you're if you're healing yourself to stay alive, you have lost the game at this point. So yeah, yeah I think all the damage has to go face. So what's left for Colts? He's got two cards. So another claw and uh, second uh, overflow. Yeah, one. yeah, the second overflow. Oh yeah. Uh, he only has one claw. That's right. Um, and he's got the second wild growth. Oh no, he's got that in hand. Um, yeah, he's got the other innovate. Crystal power. Second crystal power. Oh yeah, second crystal power. Yeah. So minimal value there. But it might be enough because yeah. if only does not have. Any AoE, much less enough AoE. He's got so AoE Galakrond with, uh, you know, kill four, but... He needed, uh... uh yeah. he, he really needed Infiltrator that turn. Um, so, Kuru goes to... F seven? Hope he draws Plague of Death? Yeah. Uh, Plague of Death, yep. Other than that, he's playing that just... Katrina and hoping for a miracle. I mean, what is he even hoping off this... 
a Gal shield of Galakron can absorb five. Just He'd still be dead. Still dead. Yeah. Well, he could he, he could Katrina and heal. At so eight, yeah, he could still... he could stay alive. No, you're still dead at eight. There's still be four minions to get through. Artificer is not the one. Wow. So you can play Galakron and hope it kills the two two. That's not a um gonna become a tree on. That'll put him yeah. to eleven. So you have to heal first and then. We well, got it. Artificer with Moonfire. And that's a kill. Yeah. That's a kill on the two two. I mean so, the only I I think the only way to, first, right? The only way to technically alive is heal Galakron and What uh, Moonfire Moonfire with the Artificer kill something. Right, 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 but right. That's not yeah. gonna be enough because you still need to heal. You still have to, I yeah. I guess this gives you a better chance of more stuff dying. So yeah. you do that instead. Of, and he goes just straight for it. I guess he could have. It doesn't matter. For him. So there's definitely gonna be some damage coming back. Eleven because of the hero power. So. I'm sleeping anyways. Yep. Wow. There. Three games tonight, or three series tonight, 14 games of Hearthstone. <laughs> Getting the, the money's it. worth on stream. Is anyone playing a game at 1 a.m.? <laughs> uh, I, I mean, we might we might start to run into the uh, the Europe crowd playing their early morning games at this point. Yeah. Is, is Rebob out there playing uh, like a, a 9 a.m. or something? Let's head it. If anyone got to get, I'm going to post it. We're, we're going to find out. <laughs> and while we're here, shout out to Rebob for finishing his master's thesis. Oh, which is super cool. Yeah. Do, 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 breaking news update. Bracket update. The person Bracket that update. everyone thought would win one game and then the second game has in fact won the first one. Our hat with a three-one win over Matty Epps. Damn. Thank, thank you, our hat, for keeping my bracket alive. I was hoping just to crush Dante's bracket. I love you, Warhead, but that's all I want. Quick news. We also oh, have no. one of the most hyped matches in this round, Ego Waffle versus Dabs. Was won by Ego Waffle. Three to two. Ooh. So, so fight the match there. That would have okay. been the best We could have pulled that one off as a, as a side. Did Dabs pick Dabs to win? Uh, Dabs did... I don't believe Dabs picked Dabs to Someone win. Someone picked Dabs to win. Um, I don't think it was Dabs, though. Dabs... Picked uh, Berserk to win, actually, and Diamond picked Dabs to win. So Rip Diamond. Diamond, sorry, but is on that today. sorry, Diamond. several people have picked Ego Waffles. So they're still looking good from that perspective. All right, so is the who's favorite here? Uh, the warrior, priest. 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 Priest is significantly favored. Uh, trust me, I know because I lost this matchup very sadly to Based, despite being favored, because Based is just <laughs> better. <laughs> <laughs> but no, this um, this is about a 67% uh, win rate for the Priest. Oh my goodness. That being said, if you are going to win as the Warrior, you need to go fast. And uh, right now, his hand is, is decent for that. Right. But Kuru does have the Holy Nova, which is a fantastic stopper in the early game and the Renew. Can you worm all your own egg? No enemy minion. Darn. I was going to say, I didn't know. Soul Mirror is so good. Another AoE. Wow. Yeah, I think the ultimate... Um, Answer for the warrior is to keep the priest at a reasonable ish life total and then put him with the Corcron burst. Um, so using Corcron early just to push the damage, it's kind of signaling that you feel like you have an advantage here, but um, we, you're running into. Yeah, we don't see second Corcron in hand. We definitely don't see. Uh, I guess he could tear on. Yeah. So Challenger trades free with the Corcron? It does dies, but it does. Yeah, I mean, I think you're you're okay with that. It's a, a rather liberal use of it. Yeah, I'd rather have used the one there, but um, it does knock the other one off the. So.
I wonder if there's ever, I guess the only way you're killing your own egg is um, with a either his risky skipper play, which activates it, which kind of deters mm -hmm. that slightly, um, or potentially Breath of the Infinite, you know, dragons in hand, uh, yeah. which by default you wouldn't except for Fate Weaver, but there are, um, your invokes can generate dragons. Uh, needless to say, as we saw people playing the first core prime, there is a second core prime in the deck, so yep. um, it's still obviously a, an op option for later in the game. Must burn them all. So Coles' Ankar draws zero more cards? Someone's gotta lead the charge. Away! Yep, we see both skippers in hand, and we've seen uh, the, the right yep. uh, carriers, so Ankar is just a weapon. The Skybait like, is pretty good here for Coles. Yes. Yeah, you're you liking the draws. Any draw outside of Battle Rage is nice. Yeah. Because generally speaking, normally you're Battle Raging, I guess, by creating it yourself, the Skipper, so... Hmm. Do you like getting the Challenger out now? Yeah. Sure. I challenge you to Mascara! It's the other core wrong. I mean, at that point, at this point, that has to stay in hand until oh, yeah. the game is ready to end. Mm -hmm. What's so max damage? Does he run rampage? He runs one rampage. He does. Um, he's got both inner ages. He's got both um, blood swarms left mm. to play. So, so max damage is eighteen on the combo, or no twenty? So it would be 22? so you start with four. You could get both inner ages, play both blood swarms with that. Then you're looking at uh, 24 damage from that combo. Yeah. Um, I think still, there's other still miss a lot of guards. Yeah. Hey. Hmm. With just one blood sworn, I think your max is 22. Because you would get the the one core count up to 11 with. Yeah, enrages. with the full. Yeah, and rage with the rampage. Oh, oh he's, gonna, he's gonna take the free blood or the close to free blood boil brute. He doesn't have Battle Rage follows up either, so um, this is kind of an all-in play. I mean, this is very much an all-in play. Um, it's not going to count for him. The Holy Nova Shadow uh, Death, Shadow or Death, coming up behind, um, and that honestly gives Kurvenway all the comfort in the world to know yeah. that there's no burst coming no from him other than the weapons. So um, your target oh, life total is significantly less. And otherwise, would be for staying alive on any given turn. So, uh, I guess Cole just felt like no battle rage. He had to make a play, but it's it's gonna make it know. super challenging for him. Um, really, at this point, now you need good lackeys. Like yeah, dragon lack lackeys. lackeys is where it's at at this point. I think dragon lackey and a dragon lackey. Yeah, yeah. Those are the other other key to. Base Victor was getting uh, out of old school Alex off the um, Dragon Lackey that uh, surprised me for 15 damage. Which Lackey is it's not. not good one. There you go. Your Lackey's up. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> and uh, second Soul Mirror, because why not have more AoE? Just play the first one for pure value. Get another egg and an armor smith. <laughs> I mean, I've seen worse ideas. Oh, he so got the second one. He, he's Both got eggs. he's got the eggs. He can yeah he can use it get Terran out. Uh, I have bad news if he does that. <laughs> uh, I do too, but yeah, I mean, I think if you're well, you can lackey first here and see what you get. But boy, uh, boom squad is is really it, huh? That was, that was a snap that, pick. I don't know if I that would be the one. I was the first. So he, oh, he just oh, he's just gonna kill it. Five, he's five, gonna, yeah. Yeah. He just, he have to. Yeah. Yeah. There's two ways for priestess to. Work. Yeah. Um. Again, like you said, though, the bad news. Wow. Yeah. Just coin. Plague of death. Mm hmm. I guess he can attack first. No. 
Job's done. Send a message. <laughs> <laughs> I will never get the egg don't value. Know how Coles comes back. Well, he's gonna start by battle raging. Out, or well, he can he can risky skipper. No, he can't because if he no. wishy lackeys it, he doesn't have any. Yeah, it's still draw. just one damage minion. So yep. Much rage. That does nothing. Does he have a second uh, life line? I don't think so. Oh, right. He does not. He run a one. All right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oof. This game. I I don't know what he what he can do. I, I mean, he's he's played pretty much every massive threat and combo he's got access to. Kuru has kind of stabilized at this point and still has AOE. Yeah. There's just still really Galakron has Kronks. Just I think the only thing left in uh, Cole's deck really is the brute, second brute. Um, right. But that's I mean, not going to be enough. Not even close. And I mean, even in a world, a bizarre world where we get to fatigue, Kuru's got card advantage. There's just nothing. Nothing here. Yeah. Yeah. You can't even answer his Katarina. So. This is looking real. Oh my goodness. Well, that was a less than ideal pull, but you know. Um, a 110, man. Oh, I'll never die. Certainly not the risky skipper. <laughs> so much rage. The armor smith synergy. I've got more left in me. I don't mind soul near here. Get a wash armor, keep an armor smith on the board, clear their board, go face. You can even steal. Uh, probably should have. I mean, not that the armor's really gonna matter, but I guess the warm off would have gone in first. Get one extra armor. Yeah, you're at the point where you can kind of just do whatever you want. So. Yeah. It's uh, never a good feeling to, to be on the other side of the table of that, see it, and just be like, well, there's no way for me to even remotely punish it. I was gonna say that the yeah. uh, Katrina attack, it did, and there's another 5 5, and this is just not a this good spot. Is... Yeah. This game is just about wrapped up. Yep. It is definitely wrapped up, and that is an early exit for Coles. He did come back from down 2-0, though. That's true. It's so a, lot of, a lot of fight. And uh, that almost hits everyone's bracket. Only one person picked Proof and Way. And let's see who the smart person was. It was Hockey. Hockey, the one person with uh, faith in Kuru. Whose bracket himself is actually kind of busted as he lost and he had himself winning. <laughs> yeah, so, he bet on himself. I guess the, he had himself going the whole way. <laughs> the, thing, the thing that says, though, is that like even if your bracket takes some hits early, a lot of people are going to get knocked out of contention over these next few rounds. And uh, mm -hmm. as long as you you know, uh, are not 40 points behind going into like the you know, later, later stages, you can still come back. Mm-hmm. So keep the hope alive, though uh, we are quickly thinning the field at this point as we're now down yeah. almost 32 people from where we started. So, yeah, that's... Uh, <sighs> what some a, absurd matches tonight, you know? Madness. <laughs> Absolutely <Monster>. insane. <laughs> Absolutely insane. Insanity. Insane in the main brain. I wow. Only two games left on the bracket that we didn't get to. In uh, our analysis before or after. Uh, I'm do a quick shout out. Keep the stream going. Wow. Absolutely. I mean, why not? We're here. We <laughs> talk about so we can talk about the Ego Waffle one a little more, and the Catman okay. and the Rebob. Uh, yeah, Catman uh, beating Two Star Mako and Rebob beating Buzz yep. the others. So let's go through Ego and down. Just since this one just updated. I clicked the wrong one because I didn't even see Ego. Oh my yeah, so here goodness. we have the Every example time. of Ego banning the Demon Hunter and Dabs choosing not to, uh, bringing the Warrior and Priest uh, along with a Dragon Hunter. And Ego ends up winning that series 3-2. to two. So the banned Demon Hunter strategy in this case pays off. Yeah, this was a, 
I, I think a, a pretty, like you said, a pretty tilted in Ego Waffle's favor as far as people picking the bracket. Um, Ego is, is predicted to go pretty far by a lot of people, honestly. Yeah, he actually Ego's a really good player. The most oh, we know that. Pick, but, yeah. Uh, most people pick Ego to win out of anyone. Uh, it's four people. That shows Ego is their, their um, ultimate winner. So a lot of faith in him. The second, actually, behind him was Berserk. Berserk had three people choosing him to win. No one else had more than two. Interesting that they're both middle seeds, too. Yeah. So Catman versus Susar Mako was the next match there. 3-1 mm -hmm. win for Catman. Uh, this was a double Demon Hunter ban, so they played it played it straight, you know. Nine classes, nine original classes, mm -hmm. and uh, Mako just uh, didn't didn't really get it going. It looks like. Yeah, so the six versus the eleven seed here. Yeah, probably a little underseeded for Catman, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, he had a seventy five percent pick them to win. So. Um, wow. Pretty pretty heavily in his favor there. So last but not least, we have Robobson versus Electabuzz. That was a match that was played very early on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that was cool. the two seed versus the 15s. And I will tell you, Electabuzz was up to nothing in this match. Oh wow! Oh, the yeah. reverse sweep. Rebob had to reverse sweep. Um, I forget which deck he said he had to reverse sweep on, or not on. It's not last year standing, but against. against. Yeah. Um. If I'm Electabuzz, he reverse swept me on Warlock. I'm just taking randomly Rogue into Priest into Warlock for some reason. <laughs> Good I'm, try I'm trying to go up and see. Yeah, so too, bad he mentioned it. too much Spanish. Rebuff was was picked 100% to win. Um, actually, has a lot of support going forward, too. Um, over half the participants picked him yeah, to he, he did not mention uh, go through till Elite Eight. So. Yeah, he did not mention what deck he reverse swept uh, with or against, rather. But, uh, but yeah. Uh, I mean, we saw it tonight a couple times. Uh, you know, try to try to claw back in the match. You can still get, uh, you know, you know, one bad draw, even in an unfavored matchup, is is enough to get you through. So I think it's always yeah. best to play those. Uh, you know, uh, you know, your better matchups. Even like a lot of people in THL, when you are playing during your regular matches during the week, every point counts. So you always want to play your best matchups to try and get as many points and maximize for your team. In a, in a setting like this, you can easily be down 2-0 and say, like, whatever, I'm going to play my worst matchup just to try and get it out of the way and say, if I lose now, 0-3, whatever, it's, it hurts just as bad as a 2-3. As a but I think getting some momentum, at least, like, some mental momentum, uh, can help out tremendously. And I would always prefer to play my better matchups whenever I can, even if it's, uh, you know, not impactful in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, I know some people like to save their, like, whatever's not banned, like, their most comfortable class last in case for stuff like this too. You know, like, all right, let me yeah. play this bad matchup. Let me play this bad matchup. I know I'm like, my best deck is warrior that's left. So I'm going to save that for last. Yeah. I like the momentum idea. I want to yeah. get that win under my belt. Start putting some doubt in their mind so that going into that tougher matchup, you know, they're, they're thinking a little bit more than they otherwise would. Yeah, a little tilt management, you know, if you can shift it over to them a little bit. I think that's, uh, you know, it, it's it's obviously a pretty mental game, you know, make, make, making yeah. fewer mistakes anytime you can affect your opponent's mind state. Um, you know, I come from a poker background, so for me, like, I, I love kind of thinking on that level and trying to see if there is any way that I can possibly shift the uh, the mental aspect in my favor. But, uh, but, yeah. That's a good point. So I don't think it's just us that uh, got to the end of the stream and started... Uh, Kind of losing steam a little bit. Uh, Twitch chat right now and watching this Priest Warrior game is basically all squids. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they. Uh, I, well, I do. I mean, we do appreciate everyone. We, we had a, a pretty consistent viewership most of the way through this, and you know, for a three and a half hour stream, that's pretty impressive. And I don't know how uh, how many more of these uh, we'll be able to really uh, get on this level, but you know. Bye. It's it's like the first round of, of March Madness, the you know the actual NCAA March Madness is you have so many games happening at once because everything is happening, um, you know, overlapping and whatnot. And then as the tournament kind of thins out here, we're gonna probably get to a more normal streaming schedule. So, um, so I think that's gonna do it for us tonight. Thank you, Brushy and Icicles, for being here. 
Absolutely. Ton of fun. Absolutely. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. More to come. This is only the first round or second round in some cases, or even third round if you're crazy and already played a bunch <laughs> like Skittles and Inzi. Uh, so, yeah, this is uh, this is it. This is, uh, this is us signing off finally on uh, Saturday morning after we started on Friday. Still my Friday night, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever yeah. Not East Coaster. <laughs> East still counts. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, guys and girls. Thanks for joining us tonight. Have a good one. We will be, we'll be back with you tomorrow evening with a few more matches uh, starting at 8 p.m. So, see oh, you there. Perfect. Be here. Be here. This is where to be. Twitch.tv slash Team Hearth Legends. Listen to this, man. It's hype. Hype! Have a good night, everybody. <laughs> Have a good night. <laughs>